start recording. Wait, what? I don't know what's going on. I'm waiting here. Oh, okay. Merry Christmas, everyone. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Or Happy Hanukkah or whatever, you know, you're celebrating this time of year. But we got a tree in the background. We do have a tree. Because that was Liz's life goal, was to have yeah. a Christmas tree in the office. And voila, we're here. Also, I probably should post this in... <laughs> there's a, there's no one's going to be watching tonight because no, like, we forgot. didn't even know we were doing it. I remembered for a second. Good enough. Oh, Lordy. The good news is if no one shows up, no one will ever know. We've already got five viewers. Oh, my here. gosh. How is that even possible? It's because I'm here. Yes. Yeah. Can they hear me? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is like yeah, a we nice have so special everybody. guest, Marty. Hello. Keeping it real, keeping it old school, you know. Having a paint weekend, but we're also doing House of Facts weekend. Boop, 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 boop. And by weekend, I just mean Friday night. <clears throat> yes. Cool beans. Well, we didn't advertise for this show, so if you're here, I don't know how you found us, but uh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's my five that's stalkers. A, like, <laughs> um, there's on, all, like, all of a sudden the death threats start coming in. No, that was just an oopsie on, like... Hey, it's, it, we just got, we just got recovered from Thanksgiving. So, that's probably part of it. And then the other part of it is, is we never have the House of X on the third of the month. So, there you go. But I needed to get this, uh... Mom, if you're watching, leave. Yeah, so I need to, can't watch. Yeah, just go away. This um, is your Christmas. And I love you, but trouble. is what we're gonna go with. Anyways, it's my mom's Christmas present. My mom and my dad's. So, um, and it's a dragon, Reaper dragon. dragon. All right, we have very little time, so let's get right on it. Oh yeah. Hey, Dodge. <clears throat> what up, Dodge? Oops. Wrong camera. You just press some buttons yeah. right now? Oh my gosh, we gotta turn on all this all these lights. We haven't turned any of the lights on. Lights. <laughs> just sitting in the dark. There we go. Holy moly. And this is where we get blinded by the light. Okay, so I've done a little bit since last time. There you have it. We've done a lot. Oops. Yeah. Since last Oops. time. I'm working on it. <clears throat> okay. Because there seemed like there was a lot to do, and and uh, so. John David, uh, no, his parents do not play. This is a this is just a bust. But he's painting this bust for his parents. Yeah. So it's their Christmas gift, <clears throat> so they can't watch. Yeah, it would kind of blow the surprise, right? Yeah. I don't think they're watching. They don't. They don't follow me. They're. I told they're, a bunch of my New Jersey and Warhammer friends to watch. Oh, okay. They're probably not watching only because I didn't post it on Facebook because I have been busy. We're doing stuff. Yeah. Life is crazy right Keeping now. it real. So how's everyone doing? What are you having for dinner? What did you have? Because I, or what, are, what did you have for dinner? Because that is... Our night, our usual question. Yes, and then we just oogle over we what you ate oogle for dinner. Over all of the foods. <clears throat> That's right. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm not says prepared pizza, for life. I'm gonna be really sad. Yeah, I really want some pizza. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to ask you to leave no, the you, stream. No, you're not. Thanks for coming, but. <clears throat> oh, I am not very smart. I'm not going to answer that question statement because I found that I get in a lot of, tr mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of trouble when what I do. What did I just do? I don't know. What did you do? I don't know. Oh, there it did is. you just stop the stream? Did you stop it midstream? No, I did not stop it midstream. I don't know Carbon what Carbon said, please pat Martin on the head. We will. Who? 
Oh, okay. Caravan. Oh, Dan, uh, Dan Caravan. Hi, I Dan. I can't read. Uh, my friend. I told all of my friends from New York and New Jersey to, awesome. to tune in. Hi, Dan. He can hear me, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. He can. And Dodge had pizza. Dodge, I'm very sad. You son of a bitch, Dodge. Aaron. I'm sorry. Watch your mouth. I'm sorry. It slipped You're, out. No, well, stop. And then get us kicked out. <laughs> Dan, if you're still watching, this is my paint coach. Yeah, we do. I try with Marty, but it just nothing sticking. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's only won every event that he's entered this year. You know? <laughs> yeah, nothing's really working out. I mean, he just doesn't listen. Or you could make the argument: this is what happens when you don't listen to me when you win stuff. I don't know. It all works That's out. That's how Aaron shows his love to me. Yes. That's what Dodge said. I know. I Wait, know. how do I show my love to you? Not to me. Oh. To Dodge. Oh, you yeah. You called him a SOB. Well. And I know, because I, I listen in on your uh, so, private coachings. So more often than not, Dodge does his private coachings in his bed, which is... The you know, first time I was like, whoa. No, I, I remember that one time you got on and I... I think I was getting up from my desk, and I just looked over. And, and you're like, wait, like what's, back in his what's going like, on wait here? Wait a minute. <laughs> what is happening? Dodge yeah, doesn't this dragon play head bus is awesome. Yeah, I want to, I think we have multiples of these. I, um, I hope we do, because this is actually pretty cool. Uh, we do not. That was our second one that we had. Um, but I got it from Reaper, and I was kind of. Mouse. Grabbing stuff. I'm going to grab two. True. Maybe. I can't remember. I don't remember what the name of the bus was. So I go to Reaper's website and I type in dragon. And I'll be here for a few minutes. Yeah, that I was going to say, that's probably not I'm gonna, the best. I'm going to look and see. The best web search on Reaper's. Uh, There's six pages. It'll <laughs> take me a minute. <laughs> you type in dragon, it just says which one. Yeah. That's right. That would be better. Oh, nope, that was not better. Try, try Google. Because <laughs> it's probably a new product, right? No. no. It, yeah, Google's not going to. This is the it, Bones. Does anyone know? It's Bones 5. So you could start there. Um, John David, Aaron is not a bad boyfriend. Aaron's the best boyfriend. Just, what did I do? Just making that. I don't. I am really not sure. <laughs> um, but I'm a very smart person, and Aaron is the best boyfriend. That's right. So. Of course, I shouldn't be Anyways, the saying that. Anyways, back to the bust. Um, <clears throat> it's not for sale yet. What was it? Where did we get that? We got it from the, the Reaper. This bust? Yeah, we got it from the last Reaper kind, and when they let us raid their factory. I just grabbed it. it yeah, was, but we got it from the... We got it from Re ReaperCon uh, 2018 or something. 2019. 2019. Oh, it's, it was Bones 5. That's yeah. So the the first one we got that we made for your mom was the resin one. But then they were smart because it was a really cool model. <clears throat> they did a Bones 5 version, which was really cool. I love it. Mm-hmm. So what are we working on today? I mean, obviously <laughs> we're working on the bus. Um, um, not the question I was asking <laughs> before you answer it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Look, it's been a really long week. It's, um, yeah, it's just sometimes. You just add up. Uh, Doing dark lining. Blood flow goes down from the brain, and <laughs> I have this on the regular basis, but every once in a while Liz gets it, you know, and good to go. May I ask why you're making it um, so red as you get closer to the, the plinth? Because he's just so angry. I don't know. I just, you know, we were painting it the first day, and it just seemed like a good idea at that point. <clears throat> Lane said today's Liz is working on paying attention. Yes, 
I'm trying, Lane. I am trying. It, like I said, it's been a it's been a long week. I honestly had forgotten that tonight was House of X, and I remembered at seven fifty three because Aaron was like, "Hey, we have House of X." In a few minutes. So. I was wondering why you were so nonchalant about it. I was like, well, she's not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Exactly. Then suddenly we were worried about it because we found out. Because I had forgotten. <laughs> Can't remember everything. Oh, yeah. Right. Hello, Rella. Dragon is really pretty, babe. Just FYI. This dragon's made of cheese. I really like how you're doing the um, the black ivory for the horns and everything. Uh huh. Like uh, like around the ear and whatnot. Very new. It's a very natural texture. Yeah, I got a um, God, I got blue all over it. <clears throat> got to touch it up tonight. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, you did get it on there. I didn't I even notice that until just now. Yeah. Well, I was I did. A lot of the blue detail with oil paints, and you get you get kind of crazy with the oil paint, so they go all over the place sometimes. Or maybe I'm just too too crazy. Was that plinth specially made for that dragon? With yeah, the it actually like is. Oh, wow. I need to put more blue tack in there so it actually sticks. Yeah, the first one, the one that they did in resin at ReaperCon two or three years ago it didn't have a plant so you had to you had to just figure it out on your own but oh you know what I'm gonna do this Rella you should take the cat with you and paint with the cat in your lap cause that won't be difficult at all This isn't exactly doing what I thought I was going to do. I'm not getting the instant gratification that I want. Because of how you paint. Yeah. It just takes a while. <clears throat> True. You think I got an instant gratification from painting all those, like almost 100 luminous? No. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah. Like I always tell people, there's nothing sexy about painting until the final result. And even then, it sometimes isn't sexy. <laughs> but if it comes out good, it's awesome. But nobody sees the hundreds of hours that you put into something. That's why the shows like these are important. Yeah. Not only to bore people out of their minds, but also... Uh, <laughs> Sausage is made. Yes. Sausage. Does this dragon have a particular narrative, or this is just like yeah, I he's, take he's, the paints and it's just he's a uh, blue. Um, I was going for a dragon that was not purple and did not have electricity going through it, and I think we've succeeded in that. <laughs> is that a specific trauma or something? Yeah. So um, the last dragon we did, it was a box art for Reaper mm -hmm. um, for Bones 5. And I, so Liz plays a lot of Guild Wars 2. And so I wanted to do one that was, she has a dragon in Guild Wars 2. Because we were, we were looking up concept art and, or reference photos and stuff. She's like, oh, I have this really cool dragon in Guild Wars that I run. And so we took a look at it. And it's this purple dragon that has like, like electricity flowing through it. And it looks really cool. And um, so I started, I did the, the initial airbrushing and stuff on the stream, and then I started doing, putting in the, the electricity going through it. And it, like, it was immediate buyer's regret. It was like, oh God, what did I just start? Because I knew it would take forever, hours. yes. And, um, but you know, it was worth it in the end. It was yeah. cool. And I got, I took it to ReaperCon to drop it off. And so I was able, at least a bunch of people were able to see it in real life. Yes. Um, but it was, it was super 
fun. It was a cool project, but holy cow. Um, it's on my uh, Instagram, actually, somewhere. Are you working with oil paints right now? No. I may switch over at some point in the stream, though. Even though Reaper doesn't make oil paints, but they also don't make contrast paints. So, so one thing cool about Reaper is they just don't care. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, I, I've painted pretty much everything else with Reaper paints on this, but there's a couple of things that I just needed a specific yeah. look, or it was quicker. Also, I'm running out of time, so... I got um, a box of the uh, Chimera paints I finally opened. Um, I got them during... Uh wasn't a sale, but they made a new batch. These ones? Yeah. Uh, it was the Michael Pizarski set. Oh, you got that one. Yeah. Yeah. I got, um, I was going to buy those, and they, they were out. Sorry. Um, I got the, I was tutorial video on non-metallic metal, which is a good video, actually. But, uh, mm -hmm. No, I, um. Hey, uh, so, Aaron, question. Yeah. Dodge says, uh, speaking of ReaperCon, does anyone know who took Best of Show this time? This no, um, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was some... Some guy named Schmarin. Schmarin Flubjoy. Yeah. Spice is right. Some guy who likes bananas. Some yes. young guy. <laughs> some guy that likes bananas. Yes, Lane. That is exactly it. Yeah, that was a crazy ReaperCon, let me tell you. I mean, there was some there was some cool friggin' stuff there. It was not a gimme. Believe it. Uh, having seen the um, the work in person, though, it's definitely fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you saw it in the dark cabinet. Yeah. I should bring it out in the light. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's the one nice thing about the customer for that, was is from Germany. Um, and he flies, he's a, he's a flight attendant for Lufthansa Airline. And uh, <laughs> they're not flying as much to the States right now. So um, I'm going to be holding on to that thing for a little while. Because <laughs> you're definitely not going to ship that thing. Right. That thing would be broken like crazy. So, uh, Ron, so I get a, to hold on to it for a while. It's a Dragon Bus from Bones 5. Yeah, they need to do more of these dragon busts for sure. I think. Yeah, sure, I really I like it. Yes, you see how decisive I am. Yeah. <laughs> Relic, really, yes. This is this is Aaron, and yes, he did win best of show this year. Um, he digitally sculpted the entire base that the Voldemort was on, as well as some of the, or the. The, like, yeah, here I've got. See, so it. this is what the base looks like when you don't give it the right supports. <laughs> <laughs> this is his, his fail that we use as like a paperweight. You could kill a fool with this thing, man. It is. Oh, well, one, I didn't hollow it. That was that was that was issue number one. But uh, yeah, kind of messed up on that. You 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 learn yeah. as you go. There's yeah. one of the staircases right there. Pretty cool. That was a fun. That was a fun project. I can say that now. During it was, Liz knows I was rethinking my life. <laughs> Bless his heart. She was rethinking my life no, for me. I wasn't. <laughs> you made it through. At one you point, I remember you said, <laughs> "Maybe we should just hire a sculptor yeah, to do like, this." And I was like, "We're already so money. we're in deep on this project, man. It's not like we can't." Yeah, Have exactly. You ever met him, by the way? Um, not in person. I mean, I've been at the same show where he won best of show at um, at Adepticon, but I've not like met him. Met him. Gotcha. He's super cool though. I saw him at World Expo when they made him a Grand Master. Which, if you become Grand Master at a mm -hmm. World Expo, yeah, yeah, you are. I was uh, one of the judges for the uh, online MFCA show this year, and uh -huh. like, um, he entered. Um, many of his pieces from this year like that he either made or like within the past yeah. 18 months or so but they were like painted by 10 different people so he's 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 a sculptor and a painter yeah. so and equally as good at both it's just disgusting um so yeah so um okay so rella wants to know 
do you know, or which contrast paints do you recommend? Um, if you were to get, if you were to get two, I would get um, these two. So snake by leather, and not this one. Sorry. Oh, maybe this is why it's not working. I got the wrong one. Oh lordy, this one. <laughs> Black Templar and Snake Bite Leather. Those are the two for sure. Um, but quite honestly, they all work really, really awesomely. And I don't just use them to make, do like contrasty stuff. I do them for lining. I do them for shading. I airbrush with them, all that good stuff. Um, but those are the two main ones that I really, really like. Because they make a good liner. Um, which in that case, I am totally using the wrong paint. I was, I was like, you know what? This it, one's a little weird. Yeah, it darkened. Samurai Jack is rethinking his shadow color on his, apparently. So yeah, it was like, it ooh. It is what it is. I love that tealy. The tealy. aromatic. Yeah, that one. Yes, this one's really good. It doesn't work really well by itself. But uh, if you airbrush it on or add it to another color, it works pretty freaking awesome. Um, Ron, I don't, did you record the first session of you painting this dragon? I, I think it think was recorded. I recorded it, but we haven't posted it. Um, okay. I think Reaper recorded it because Michael Kleiman watched it. Oh. Like he told me, he's oh, like, I'm maybe, watching it right now. Maybe it's on the Twitch. Now the only problem with, the only that. problem with that recording is it won't be, as detailed as like my recording, well, my re like it'll be Twitch real. recording, which is. Um, Ron, we can upload the last stream and the stream. I need to op upload several because we've got the lightning dragon too. Oh, that's true. Well, so we'll upload them to the miniature monthly YouTube, um, and then you can watch them from there. Yeah. He, I will say there's a chunk of the stuff that he did not. Um, I did a bunch of highlights and stuff uh, in, uh, off yeah, camera. Yeah, he, he did a lot of stuff off camera, so he kind of... I cheat a lot. You did not cheat. You no. Were, you've got a no, lot I got going a, on. I got you time. Gotta I got schedules. Even, yeah. <laughs> we have many, many in. important schedules to keep. Um, one of which is to make sure my mom gets this for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, Samara <clears throat> Jack said mine is red with a purplish tint right now. Oh, I like that, though. Yeah. I think that's a solid start. So if you added some teal colors into your red with pearl. So I added red because I've got teal. And I haven't added any orange. I do have blue, but I don't have any orange yet. So I think I should. Sweetheart. Somewhere. Your, your, your lover has joined. Oh, my gosh. Vincent. Oh, hi, Vince. Oh. Your lover. Lover. Brother lover. <laughs> So, I don't know, Vincent, um, we're going to have an Aaron con over here, or a con as we're he calling said, it. He said Aaron is a known cheat with miniatures. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I just paint him, and I, I just move on. Uh, Rella, he does not have any oil tutorials yet, um, but... Quite honestly, watch some, watch some James Wapple. Oh, yeah, paintings, James Wapple's got a ton of... I mean, that's all he paints in now. Yeah. Um, my, my, the way I do it is probably, well, everybody's different. Um, I'm definitely different than Jim, but his stuff is really good. And I actually have watched some of his videos just to see if, if we get a different uh, take on it. Um, but I, I dig it. I mean, it is so stinking quick. If you know where to put the colors and stuff, if you don't know where to put the colors, it's not going to speed you up that much. But um, it is awesome. To say the least. Mm -hmm. You still need to know how to have acrylic paint, obviously. Um, but the oil paints are a good uh, tool to have in your toolbox. I should be paying attention because you're too brush rumbling right now, right? Yeah. Creamed corn loves the colors. So I just so I'm not thinning this at all because I actually want it. Um, I want it darker. Like I don't want to do it three times. Like I'm already doing it a second time because that other one wasn't dark enough. 
So I'm just making sure. See, I'm like blopping it on here. Yeah. A little bit bigger than I want. And then I try to make it, I try to make it so I go down the one side and go down the other side. And then if I can, just make sure there's no line. Yeah, just feather it out as best yeah, you can. Yeah, as best you can. So it's funny, I should have, I should. Brown liner, do I have blue liner? I know I got blue liner somewhere. Um, Define blue liner. Um, it's, it's re called so blue liner. Re <laughs> <laughs> it's literally a uh, color called blue liner. Um, Reaper has, they have these liners. Gotcha. And so the brown, they have all different ones. They have gray. That's a bummer. That's okay. I always find the color like the day after gotcha. I'm looking for it. <laughs> Rilla made her cat get up so she could go, or he, I don't know. They made their cat get up so they could go paint. <laughs> nice. That's the way that they went. Yep, it's paint night. Yep. I don't want to be the only one painting. I'm, that's <laughs> that's what usually happens, so I, I want other people to join in. I actually managed uh, to bring pa uh, paint on the airplane. Nice. Um, You can actually, uh, it's like a certain amount, but you can bring a ton of paint. It's um, it's only limited by the size of the bottle, actually. Oh, really? So yeah. it's not just because I remember my buddy uh, Bryce uh, Coconor would he would bring paint, but he could only bring so much on like they were all in the small bottles, the dropper bottles. Yeah. But then it was like it was still like 32 ounce max or something at the time. Gotcha. But it's probably they've lightened up a lot of restrictions. Uh, when I was painting for a tournament in 2018, um, I had a five hour layover. Uh, uh, between flights in Texas and I was like I have to I have to just finish all these storm cast and sure enough I was able to bring um, uh, make your own wet palette uh, paint brushes paper towels nice and all of the paints needed to paint like the blue armor and some of the red robes for the storm cast and I got them done did you say that Bryce painted on the air and no, Bryce actually sculpted it on the airplane with a so, knife. Oh. <laughs> Go figure that one. I'm like, dude, how did, wait, they let you on the plane with that? And he goes, yeah, it was one of my, it was in my sculpting kit. And I was like, oh yeah, God. but it's a knife. You brought a knife on a plane. And they let me bring my embroidery. Now, now so gra so granted, it. Bryce is like probably the nicest person on earth. Um, and I think that actually is on his license. Um, so they probably were just like, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. Uh, the, uh, the TSA always, um, when I, when I put uh, my army case through the x-ray machine and everything, you can right. see the sheet metal. It's a big, Oh, a big box. that's a, that's a big red flag right there. Huh? No, no, it's not. Actually, oh, it's not? Because there's nothing else. In oh, it. okay. Yeah. Three yeah. pieces of sheet metal. However, one of the miniatures I brought with me this weekend was um, uh, one of my archers have a unit champion, which is an old high elf mage from like 2000. Right. Uh, and, but it has a clearly like fantasy pose, like it's up in the air, it has a uh, staff and such. And I could see the x-ray machine um, at the airport, like the, the screen was tilted in such a way. So you just see an empty box, the three lines of the sheet metal, and this one wizard character <laughs> outlined in, in, That's in hilarious. black, silhouetted in black. And he looked at it for like 10 seconds, just shook his head, and then just pressed the conveyor belt. Another one of these nerds. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else in the box other than the sheet metal and the wizard. So. Right. So I actually got... So when I first started traveling like years ago, um, you get pulled aside every single time. Because they just... Like nobody traveled with their models. Um, there were no nerds in the United States about 10 or 15 years ago, apparently. Um, and then after a while... Especially in San Diego, they just didn't care. They're like, yeah, okay, another box of toys, you know. Um, but the one time I did get flagged recently, it was actually because of my business cards. 
It was wow. a brand new pack of business cards. So it looked like a brick inside my um, oh, wow. gate, inside my carry on. And so that's what they call, you know, they're like, what is this? And I'm like, it's business cards. They made me open the, the back. You know, it was like, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah. um, I thought that was funny that, you know, the little miniatures with little pins all through them and everything, like. Well, because they're generally plastic, so they don't really show off those yeah. anything on the, uh, the machines. But um, if you ever do get searched, I just tell them that it's artwork and they um, uh, temper their expectations accordingly. I think. Yeah. I'm like. It's my doll it's collection. Some, yeah, I just say it's, it's miniatures. They're hand-painted. Be careful, please. And usually that's when they turn it up on its side. Yep, <laughs> turn it upside down. Yeah. That's what blue tech's for. Or magnets. Yeah, or magnets. Yeah, I don't think I'm too afraid to use magnets. Everything in my army is magnetized always. I actually had to buy smaller magnets uh, for some of the skeletons and the stuff that I brought with me. Because uh, they made the mistake of using magnets which were stronger than the models were dense. So I would move some of my ghosts up the table and they would uh, like just attract to each other. They would fly off the table into one ball. <laughs> it's like, I'm not doing that again. I'm not making that mistake. So, what is everyone else working on? Even if you're not painting right now. Like, what's on your... Is anyone making a cheese wheel? I don't know. Cheese Christmas. sounds really good. Oh my gosh, we have coffee. I forgot I made coffee. Oh yeah. Bless it. Aaron, you want cream and sugar? Sure. Is that moment when you're darklining stuff and then you realize, oops, I darklined too much? Yeah. And then you get to go the other way. You un undarkline things. But. That's a light line. We are in the house of Vex, so that's what your airbrush is for. I do Inside. like that. Okay. I'm coming in. I'm coming with in the hot. hot. She's coming yeah. in hot. Coming in a coat nope. covered Prius. Jesus, Lord. Look at that froth. Yep. Whip cream. No, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hot. Yeah. Holy I cow. Just my tongue is coffee. swelling. <laughs> my, my tongue is swelling. Wow. Sweet. Usually it's actually Liz who does that. I yeah. am shocked. I don't know why you decided. I went all in. Yeah, you were just like, man, I'm just going to go ahead and take a big old gulp of this really hot coffee. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to do our class this weekend, Marty, with me doing sign language. Yeah. Sure. Like it was really weird because his tongue was swollen he, most of the weekend. Just, he just wrote it out on his phone the entire weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Okay. 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 So, all the way from New Jersey. All the way, yeah. Yeah. Um, Marty, you've, you've, what, won every contest this year that you've been in? I think so. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Marty Thank does a, much. you have a, he has a Sil Sylvaneth army. Lumineth. Lumineth, yeah, that's Sylvaneth close. Sylvaneth is an army, Similar. but okay. close those enough. Are same, those are words. Yeah. Um, they're Sometimes. Games, they're game, games workshop words for people who are not used to games workshop. Yeah. Games all sound the same. It's fine. They're, they're high elves so, for the rest of us. Yeah. Dodge said he's working on a dwarf bust. Nice. Um, Rella is working on cross stitch for your neighbor. Even Ooh. nicer. That's awesome. Fantastic. I am a. I do embroidery and I. Liz is. You've been doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I crochet because Erin's daughter taught me how to do crochet, which is super fun. Um, ben said. I'm working on trying to be a better human. A long way to go. Are you kidding me? You're such a good human. We love you. Ron said, just wondering if this is available in the UK. Um, Ron, it was from the Bones 5 Kickstarter, so I don't think that it's readily available. It was in their warehouse. I'm, I don't know if that means not, that it's shipped to the UK. I have no or, idea. Yeah. Um, or any Reaper people's? 
I guess I could just message Justin and just be like, hey. Hey. <laughs> what's going on with the bones dragon? I got a question. We got a question about your dragons. Yeah. Um, Mouse Krause said, I just finished a giant were rat and dwarf. Nice. Going to move into, oh, that's a word. Onto the illithid. I think that's how you say that. Or whatever Reaper calls them. Okay. That sounds pretty cool. A wear rat. Ooh, I want that. Um, and then Rilla said that they're also painting the Ghost of Christmas Future mini. Ooh. Lots of fun projects. Yeah, crocheting's fun. I'm making a, um, a little beanie for the little skeleton guy that we have in our living room that was a Halloween Halloween decoration that is now becoming a Christmas decoration. It's just going to go gonna from each thing. There. And then the next month it'll be birthday decorations. Yeah. It, it's just going to stay out probably yeah. for the rest of time. Uh, Cagnat Nat said, I'm working on a carrion worm. Ooh. Good thing it's supposed to be hideous. <laughs> That's the way to go. Has anyone ever painted a were-rabbit? Hmm, that's a good question. Has anyone out there painted a were-rabbit? Does anyone believe in were-rabbits? That's probably where we should start. Well, they made a Wallace and Gromit movie about it. Oh, that's, that's, that's true. That's what I watched on the plane. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen the movie since it came out. I wanted to watch it again. What um, what called? airline did you take again? What, Delta. Delta. Okay. Um, it was uh, Wallace and Gromit and Curse of the Were Rabbit. Oh. Ray Fiennes was the bad guy, but you just painted as Voldemort. Uh, oh. Helena Bottom Carter. Uh, very nice, very fun uh, movie. Easier to appreciate now as a painter and artist how much work goes into. Uh, scenery like that. Yeah. Man, that coffee is hot. Yeah. I didn't put it in my tongue, but I can't, like, hold the cup. It's so hot. Just gulp it. Just gulp it. All right. I really like how you, um, drawing attention to the eyes with like the, the, the brightness intensity. Yeah, I figured because, okay, so so let's talk about the problems with this model. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> so the teal back here really draws attention. Right. So I had to put some up here because otherwise, and then that's also why I put red in right here because the red and teal complement each other, but also it brings me more saturated color right there. Um, this red was really bright before, and it's toned down now, so I, I may even go a little bit darker. Yeah, you but I did, it all I did want it, I don't know. I, w I wanted a little bit of red down there. I don't know why. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. Um, and sometimes you just got to roll with it. Um, there's our orangey brown right there. So I think I need more oranges and orangey brown is. Brown is? Yes. Uh, Rella, yes, I've seen Blood Chicken Bear. Run. We good. had it on VHS growing up. Because oh, Chicken Run. Gracious. This is the Chimera Paint, which works. The third one from the left. The This one? Yeah. Yeah, the... Um, what's it called? Mm, the side. Yellow Oxide. They're... they're uh, ochre. Ochre. What's your favorite color? Yeah, ochre is like the best. And actually, I need to use that on this particular model for the horns. All right. So those are like orangey browns. And I think that stinks. Because I don't know what happened to my rust brown from Reaper. It's somewhere. This is what happens when you have uh, guests from out of town and you clean up your paint area. <laughs> oh, yeah. All your it's all away. your fault, Marty. Um, no. It's fine. <laughs> I appreciate the hospitality. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I was, well, I was painting another week. It was pretty good, but Aaron blamed me for everything. Yeah. Oh, my 
Yeah. He lost his paints and... It was so sad. He had to clean up his paint area. But Which was our dining room table. The good news is if you're just looking for a tone of color, you can always make that color. Like, it just... And I think it's better if you start thinking about color as just tones. So, like, a warm red, a cool red, warm yellow. There's actually cool yellow. Um, all that stuff. Because then when you are looking for a particular color and you can't find it, all you need to find is the tone mm -hmm. of color in your collection. Or at least a color that's close. And you can change the tone by just adding other colors to it. The best way to learn that by trial by fire <laughs> is to bring to a hotel for the night of, before the tournament painting, um, either by accident or deliberately, air quotes, forget certain paints. Yeah. And so it's like, uh-oh, like, I, I got oh, to make this version of yellow. I, I brought yeah. all the wrong colors. All right, great, go. We can make them. Yeah. And you really can. You're not going to hit the exact color because a lot of times the pigments they use in these paints are pretty amazing. Like there's, you never guess like the, the, the original blue pigment, what it actually looked like. It looks crazy. But, so that's why they can get some colors that are weird, like this weird Sotec green. It's just a strange color. Um, when you get a chance, yeah. Um, can you show the difference between a cool yellow and a warm yellow? Yeah. Thanks. You have a lighter? I'm just kidding. That You're, was a horrible oh joke. God, that was a terrible dad joke. Like, that was really bad. <laughs> so... <laughs> The only reason I know this is because these are actually labeled cold yellow and warm yellow. Uh -huh. <laughs> so warm, so so what would make a yellow warm? <laughs> One guess, red. Okay, so um, so you've got a more orangey yellow. So this is like a this is like a a, a golden yellow, like the Chargers uh, jersey colors. Um, cold yellow is a little bit different. So it's it's, like it's sunshine yellow. Yeah, and there's another one, um, and I don't have that color up there. Um, there's ice yellow from uh, from Vallejo, and it it's got a little bit of a blue tinge. It doesn't it doesn't you can't see it in here, but it does. It's it's on the cooler side. So if you highlight this yellow with this yellow, it's going to show up really well because because one's warm and one's cold. You have a different form of contrast. Um, <clears throat> Um, also, Bryce has joined the chat, and he said, oh, okay, boy. you can start now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's start over. Where's my uh, contrast paint? <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to House of X. Yeah. Bryce is finally here. Bryce so has begin. entered the building. Liz, am I, am I allowed to ask you questions from Discord that people are tagging you in? Yeah. Oh, are they tagged? Oh, are they really Yeah, tagged? people are looking I for... I had it up, but I wasn't looking at it. Yeah, people are asking about uh, their submissions and stuff for um, the Miniature Monthly um, Masters. Okay, so Lane, since you are watching, I will answer this verbally, and then I'll type it up as well. Um, so, with the confirmation emails for the entries, I don't know what happened. Apparently, I didn't hit the little button that says... Uh, Send out, send a out the confirmation. No, I take that back. I, I think I sent it, set it to automatically send it, but it's not automatically sending it. So it's just broken. If anyone is concerned whether or not their entries are in, please send me a private message and yeah. I will check for you. And if it doesn't get resolved, like, tonight it will get re like don't worry yeah, like you're not will, gonna we're not if, yeah. if for some reason like you you submit it and it only like submits half of the thing or if something goes wonky just send yeah. me a message don't lie Thanks. but we trust you you yeah. know it is what it is bryce Figure for the first out. year ever has actually entered every single category and i'm really proud of him i that's false what yeah oh Seeing it, Bryce said, I was debating getting the Chimera colors. Any thoughts? I've tried just one. He said, let's great. just give out your cell phone. Bryce, <laughs> that is not happening. You have my number. <laughs> There's like three people watching this that have my number, and that is it. Plenty. She's blocked all three of them. They no, have no it's way. Not. It's not. <laughs> that would be really funny, though. 
Um, Your mom's always like, I keep trying to get a hold of Liz. And I'm like, I don't know. Her phone is ringing. I don't know. I just block everybody. Yeah. Don't text me. I'll block you. I don't know who you are. Okay. Lane. Um, oof. I'm just kidding. Uh, Lane, I have two entries for you. Lane, you better that you are not selling my number. <laughs> I will take ten hey, bananas. I could use a little extra number. money for it. <laughs> I'll sell your number. All right. What's that? Why, is, why it's not, um... Oh, actually doing that? Yeah, I'm going to double check. <coughs> Let's see. <gasps> what? Somehow it got changed. That's why it wasn't working. Not bad. <coughs> I, don't know. I don't know what happened. <coughs> I think I caught COVID at the grocery oh store. Oh my gosh, will you stop? Please don't say that on live television. Yeah, that's not <laughs> smart, babe. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, Flipped and shipped. <laughs> Eric didn't answer that camera question. Wait, what was the... Oh, sorry. I saw the any thoughts, Bryce, and I think I just said it as like a sentence, and there wasn't a... I didn't... And then Marty the said he really liked the one color that he tried, and then we got sidetracked by... Uh -huh. Um, other things. Yeah, um, I got I got one of the sets um, this past summer, and I had been putting it off. I was like, it was like almost too sacred to touch. It's like <laughs> I unless I'm painting an entry for a specific. It's just a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> unless I'm painting an entry for a specific competition, I'm not opening this box. And um, I pulled out the Elf King I showed you, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and um, actually open one of these. And sure enough, I, I, I really liked how was, how the paints were going so far. I see a lot of them also on um, uh, Craft World Studio uses them a lot. I, th I think they're uh, worth trying to get a hold of for sure. Yeah, they're super vibrant colors, and they're all single pigment. Or except for the Namatak Metal one, they're all sigma, single pigment colors. So like they're really good for mixing and mixing into other colors. Um, May I use mine? There was something weird that happened with mine that I that I wasn't a fan of, but I can't remember what it was. Right, said I would never <laughs> yeah. open it in that case. Yeah. It gives you a little butt pucker. <laughs> yeah, I, I look forward to using uh, more of the Chimera colors as I uh, prepare for Golden Demon at Adepticon this year. They're good paints. I mean, I'm a firm believer that pretty much every manufacturer has pretty decent paints out there. Um, you know, it all matters, like, how you use them, right? So um, the Chimera paints do have very vibrant colors. Uh, so that would that would be one of those things that takes a little while to get used to if you're not used to mixing paints. Um, and Bryce, um, do you paint? Oh my gosh, you better stop. You know Bryce is paint. He's a, he's a painter. Bryce was the oh. first famous painter Ooh. I ever met. Bark's Axe, Bark Axe Miniatures is raiding with a party of 14. Oh. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for shopping. Now Marty's watching the stream. Yeah. He's 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 on the stream and watching the stream. On the stream watching the stream. Yes. That's the way it goes. That's how that's how we roll out yeah. here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is that a cannoli? Oh, that sounds Beelzebub? good. Beelzebub? is that is that are those cannolis? I don't know what they I are. think they're cannolis. 
I don't know, now I really want to go. I'll go call my bakery in Mount Laurel. Yeah. They are cannolis. Oh. I'm shipped out. Oh. Man, now I'm hungry. We need them post haste. Just ate. Well, now we have more people here. What did y'all have for dinner? <laughs> this is a question that we ask every everyone single every single time. stream. Because food is super important. Mm -hmm. and we don't know I what to talk about. Meal no. ideas. So there we go. Bark's a little cannoli boy. Aw. Ooh. Butter chicken pizza. Ugh. That sounds really good. Does that have sugar in it? If not, send me the recipe. <laughs> has all kinds of yeah. butter. Oh. Bark axe, you need to go eat. It is food time. A cold sandwich. Aw. You know what? Sometimes having a cold sandwich is super yummy. We do that sometimes. Usually on nights that I'm just like, you know what, I'm not cooking. And Aaron's super busy, so he can't cook. <laughs> well, I'm the griller, and the then we and ran we out. We of... ran out of. We ran out of juice. Oh, you got to get more for tomorrow. Yeah, that would probably help. We're having steak tomorrow. Yeah. Although I heard Marty likes his steak uh, just raw. Just raw. Cold uh. and raw. Uh, there Step there. up from shredded cheese out of the bag standing in front of the fridge. <laughs> uh, okay, so not going to lie. We do that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Nope. Hate to read and run, but I need some supplements. Have a good night, Bark. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for rating. Ooh, Rilla had chicken, spinach, onion pasta with a vinaigrette and feta cheese. Fancy. Take out that onion and man, that sounds delicious. Mmm, pizza from the You know, so you highlight bar. something and it doesn't look like it, Sorry, anything's I'm happening still and also you look at it and you're like, oh yeah, it actually did something. Yeah, I've, hmm. I've been watching you. you. I've, 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 I'm watching what I'm doing too, and I'm You're like, that's not doing fantastic. anything. Nothing's happening. We've had three people that have had pizza tonight. It's we have got um, to figure out how to make pizza, sugar free pizza. I don't, I think you just eat it with the. You sugar. just pour tomato sauce like on. <laughs> you can like a in wheat your, tortilla. In your, in like, your hands. <laughs> Just eat cheese. Just dump it. <laughs> just dump it in there. And well, is there sugar in like regular pizza dough? Yeah, uh, there's sugar in the yeah, sauce there's, for there's sure. Also, there's, I think there's also sugar in the dough. Well, you, you can yeah, socks sugar. For, so the sauce itself always has freaking sugar in it. It's like spaghetti sauce. You can't find spaghetti sauce without sugar. Well, they can't you just get canned tomatoes? Yeah, but think, oh, now you're know. asking too much. Does oh. canned tomatoes also have sugar in it? I don't know. Not the ones you buy in your juice, because it's just canned tomatoes. Just eat yeah. it like a soup. Just eat it like a soup. <laughs> oh, Deconstructed hello, pizza. We'll just eat flour. Zox, Zox and Heather are here. Oh, <laughs> hello. Nature sugars. Natural sugars. Okay, so. Nature zone. I don't know. If anybody is a nutritionist, like, went to school to be a nutritionist. You must be certified. Please contact me. Um, dot com dot org. We've got questions. <laughs> Does Kent have a recipe for sugar? I don't think Kent Rollins has a recipe for sugar free pizza. Yeah, he's like, we add it. Kent Rollins is. Oh, love watching his food videos. They make me so hungry. Garlic, tomatoes, basil, and salt. Or tomato sauce without sugar. I find no added sugar tomato products since tomatoes have natural sugars. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So, it's just tomatoes. A dietitian, that's the correct word. Sorry. So also they that's put they put a lot of sugar in those things is uh, uh it keeps them good longer. Yeah. Well, yeah. When you go yeah. to restaurants, have you ever had like spaghetti and it seems like really sweet? Mm -hmm. Probably not, but Also, um, um, Liz, I'll send you a recipe later because I was just okay. googling for you says, from you two, quick and easy pizza dough. No yeast and no sugar. Oh, that sounds even better. Yes, please. Cauliflower, broccoli, vegan crust. 
Oh, I don't... Okay, Rella, we won't diss that because we... So we... Oh, yeah, we've done been there, done that. We've done... Yeah, we've done it. We made a... Oh, no, we made a spaghetti squash crust that I didn't press the... I didn't get the... Squeeze the juice out of all the spaghetti squash, and so... Um, it was more like we just had spaghetti, flat, square pieces of spaghetti. The spaghetti. With sauce on it. It was pretty good. But it wasn't a crust. <laughs> you know the funny thing with his cheeks being red? Yeah. It's like it has blush. Maybe this dragon's yeah. wearing makeup. I don't know. Well, you have that nice you barrier. That. Your mom would like it. It's the nice barrier uh, between the um, the two bars of the of the cold colors, like right under the eye. Yeah. And the scales down the neck, uh, because the black doesn't really have, um, even though it's a warmer black and those highlights. Right. You don't really, that that's not sufficiently breaking up the color, so I can see why you have all of those purples and reds, climbing up the cheeks against the eye. Yeah. So you have that um, uh, contrast to break it up. Now, I'd like to say that that was all intentional, but it might just be that that's just what happened. I think it was intentional, but... You, it was you're, you're, um, you're subconsciously yeah, intentional, yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's like, well, this has to happen, otherwise it's just going to look like a mess, therefore I'm going to do it without actually thinking about it. all them horns if I was this dragon god brushing his teeth must take hours because you probably got to brush the horns too right Sweetheart, or like the, they don't they don't brush their the teeth. cheek teeth they don't they don't brush their no teeth. you sure yeah I think I specifically remember a Disney cartoon where there was a dragon brushing his teeth um quest for Camelot <laughs> There you go. It was, yeah, it was okay. Well, yeah, the, of course it wasn't Disney. It's a two-headed dragon because they were cursed or something. <laughs> Do you remember that movie at all? No, Some, I somebody don't. in the chat probably remembers that. Somebody one. does. Quest for Camelot. All right. checking to make sure that people's entries came through. Oops. If my computer will work, you know. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, goodness gracious. Um, oh. Heather, you threw me off. Dragons use magic to keep their teeth clean. Oh, is that, is that what it is? Right, yeah. Also, Rilla all that said, fire breathing kills germs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Rella said they have the princesses they kidnap brush their teeth. Aww. <laughs> that was so sad. Just got dark real quick. Yeah. Oh, Heather, no, you, you didn't throw me off of a tower. Um, you threw me off because I was looking for your entries under Heather... And it wasn't under Heather, it was under... The artist formerly known as Heather? Your last name. So I got... I was like, oh no, it didn't upload. <laughs> that night you ran off with my dental hygienist. Oh my god. You really got me. Jeff said he's got to upload his other 19 entries. There you go. 
Is there still time to even do that? Oh, yeah, we have can, You can upload until midnight. Uh, okay. Eastern. Nope, we are not Eastern, baby. Western. I mean, we are Eastern. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> when did that change? I'm sorry. I. It has been a long week. Okay. You can enter until 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. Oh, look at that. Goodness gracious. I swear, I am awake. Huh. Halfway. We are so there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Should we go for, like, cross-eyed dragon? <laughs> You know, the best part with dragons is it's really hard to get cross-eyed because, like, you could technically be this way. Yeah, because they don't... They, you they only... Nobody looks at a dragon head-on. Except unless we go like that. But even on the plinth, it's like this, so... Yeah. Uh, Bryce is priming his mini now. See, I told you he pays. He said yay. Sweet. Well, you got a couple hours, Bryce. You got it. Yeah. You got this. Yeah. You... Let's see. It's 6... 608... On the West Coast, so you have about a little less than six hours. So, Marty, you were uh, talking... Rella, to, oh, sorry, babe. Go ahead. Rella, the entries are for the Miniature Monthly Masters online painting competition. Um, Bryce said Liz just gave me more time. You have... It's, yeah, you have about six hours. You're good. Um, but we, on our Patreon... We do an annual painting competition every year. And we give away $75 times a lot more than that. So what's the question you're about to ask me? <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, it, was, it was something. I it was really important. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. your brain. <clears throat> it was probably the most important question ever to oh, be right. asked ever. yeah and and now we will never know probably about painting my house yeah okay um i was gonna ask you who's your favorite painter no i'm just kidding <laughs> save me save me <laughs> Vince Ventura. yes <laughs> well he is my uh my hobby husband or whatever i don't know he is i think have you ever seen that picture of vince and i or it was everybody so we did aces painting at uh gym con one year mm -hmm. And afterwards, they took a group photo. And so I just, of course, lay down on the ground. And Vince lays down in my lap. <laughs> and it is the best photo. Like, it pops up every once in a while on my feed. And I just absolutely Dude, love it. Um, you never would go into the Age of Sigmar room um, at Adepticon, so you wouldn't have seen this. Um, but two of our friends, um, their names are Anthony and Jacob. Uh, right. They, they don't look like Vince all that much. But they grew out a soul patch. They don't. They're they're bald. Right. So they, and they just, wear the vest. They they, they, was... they bought. They had made green aprons. Nice. With gold lettering nice. on them, and they they cosplayed as Vince for one of the two days for the GT. There was um at Adepticon one year, and it might have been the same guys because Vince got his picture with them. Yeah. <laughs> it oh, yeah. looks like three Vinces just yeah, standing there. It's so funny. And and for one of them. Um, I, um, they would have to tell you which one it was, but one of them actually got mistaken for Vince and someone started asking them paint questions. Oh my gosh, I would have answered. I would have gone oh, no, on this well, long um, diatribe of uh, wrong. Anthony, Anthony's a good painter. Right. Um, of, 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 of the two guys. But of course, if Jacob's watching this far, right. <laughs> um, um, and one of them has a podcast called The Rage of Sigmar. Where it's it's huh. just the two of them just recording their Skype conversations that they used to have right. since they were kids, and uh, after a tournament they both go to, they do a tournament review, and I shit you not, this was the first thing they said. The best thing about Martin Orlando was Marty's mom, because <laughs> they, they 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 everyone was everybody there. loves your mom. <laughs> oh yeah, no, uh, she she was a big help. She was. Dodge. Yes, we have your entry. I just checked. And you can send your bribe money to... No, you stop that right now. Oh. I mean, you know. Nope. No bribing Forget money. about it. 
Uh, I have my bright. Ace of Painting is an all-time great. Just wait to see what we can do in 2022. <laughs> I have my uh, <laughs> official bribe manager here, Martin Orlando. <laughs> you want me to fuck that on the phone? No, no, like, no. I can talk to my husband, but I'm not going to No, 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 no. It's fine. Oh, Lord. It's fine. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? What um, I said? Vince says you, that he loves me. Nope, that is not at all oh. what he said. He said the picture from Ace of Painting is an all-time great. Just wait to see what we can do in 2022. Yeah, we're going to be like two old men hobbling. We'll have our walkers by the time we get to see each other again. Vince is fit. He could, he, he won like a push-up contest right. or something. Well, I'll be there in my walker and he can he can stroll me around. <laughs> he can be my driving Miss Daisy. You know, like you just drive me around. Or something. He did like a hundred and something push-ups or something. Like someone challenged him, and it was uh. just like Vince, Vince just kept going. I would, I would like okay. to do that, except for this shoulder injury. That's actually the truth. I can't do a push-up. And, like that's not why you aren't gonna do a push-up, babe. Let's just be completely honest. How many times have I asked you to work out with me? Um, like, probably every day for a couple years. And what yeah. did I say every single time? Nope. Not if there's a flood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those are not the words you If I had to push, do a push-up to no, literally do. save my life, Definitely not. I'd okay. probably do it because I wouldn't want to die. But, I mean, you know. Um, Heather, I will find the photo of them from Ace of Painting and post it in the Miniature Monthly Discord. Um... Dodge said that he will send bribe money to your OnlyFans account. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes. Um, that's right, jo- uh, Zox. I almost called you Josh, and I'm really not sure why my mouth tried to make those letters form. That's Zox what and happens. Josh don't sound anywhere near the same. Thank you, Bryce. Bryce said he'll work out with me every morning. Bryce is a liar. Yeah. So, Bryce, I wake up at 6 my time. Um, (laughs) Yep, that's 3 in the morning your time, Bryce, so congratulations. So, uh, yeah. The funny thing is Bryce would probably do it. In fact, he'd be up at like 2.30 just to beat you. He said that's brutal. (laughs) Well, actually, I would, I probably need to wake up at like, Five. Because I usually wake up at six, right as my sister's getting here with the baby. Heather says she works out at noon, so I can work out with her. Sweet. One of my many important alarms. 9.30, nothing is happening at all. That's when, yeah, your alarms never make any sense. We'll make sure Aaron goes for a walk at that time. Yes. He's really good at going for walks. Mm-hmm. I thought I heard Marley's little pause. She's right Oh, there. she's right behind me. Yeah. I did she... hear something. <laughs> it's probably the me in the chair. Oh. That or it's her licking her, smacking her lips. Hello. Sounds like a faucet. It's so gross. A leaky waterfall. <laughs> Would you say that you're close to finishing this miniature, by the way? Yeah. That's a that's good news. By the way, because I was like a little bit worried this morning. <laughs> Were you <laughs> really? You worked on it for hours. I know, but that doesn't mean hours. anything. Usually, what the here's how it works. If I if I totally do it speed painting, it doesn't take long at all, and I'm good. As soon as I start taking more time, that's when I start taking thousands of hours more time. And that's when it, that's when bad things start happening. People go batty. Lane yeah. said, don't forget the feet. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Lane, what do you think? Maybe I should put some uh, lightning effects in this? <laughs> I'm guessing the feet is a reference to another piece as well. Yeah. This one over here always forgets to paint the feet. The, I took Sergio Calvo's class, and he said the feet, the feet are don't boring. Matter. Yeah, he said they're not interesting at all. Don't worry about it. I cover them in like three different dirt paints anyway. So, the- and and he was serious. And then we started looking at all the feet, and they're in like these amazing pieces he brought to the to the class. 
all of them basically just airbrushed like nothing, nothing. And it was like, holy crap, he was serious. Mm -hmm. I mean, he does a little bit, but it's not like his models are known for just detail on top of detail on top of detail. And yeah. Holy cow, my tongue is still fabrogant. Now, now you see how yeah. I feel. I'm going to be a tongue limping. Every day, because that's usually what Sorry, I'm Marty, we're not going to be able to eat any more food this week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's okay, he's got sandwich. Yeah. Marty could probably survive. I don't think Liz and I could, though. No, I, I definitely could not. Well, I'm the one that usually cooks, so. I can cook. I would yeah. just cook. Marty's self-sufficient. He'd probably, he'd probably end up eating us. That's what would happen. And then I know Marley would. Marley would Marley eat would eat us. Yes. I always tell her, when you go, I'm going to eat you. No, Aaron, okay. This escalated quickly. Stop. Tell oh, me, who little, out there hasn't little, eaten one of no, their animals? No, Aaron. Well, Nobody someone might has. have. Someone might have. Sorry, guys. Ask Bry Bryce that question. This is a joke. It gets cold. For those of you who don't think that he's joking, it is 100% a joke. Jeez Louise. Okay. That way they're always with you. Dad, you're not helping. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no, but we always Bryce ate joke one of his about animals. Marley's little hind legs. Yes, I'm talking about you. Marley's little hind legs look like little chicken legs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, people sometimes call corgi legs drumsticks. Her her they're her like legs little, look like, like little drumsticks for sure, like man. They're, they look delicious. And they also have puffy, lots of fur. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like if she was, if she could laugh, then she would probably. We always like grab her little legs and I don't know what play? They, and like play with her little legs. Oops. And she just kind of lays there. Her little leg bones. Yeah. You have paint behind your Why computer you? as well. It's I everywhere. I fell down earlier this today. Is... <clears throat> so this so... is clean. I made him clean up today because I was like, look, we have company coming and I am not, my mom would oh. murder me. I already told Marty that the reason this house looks nice is not because of me. Mm -hmm. Liz is, Liz is the glue and cement and everything in the, in the just niceness, you know, it would look like a full on bachelor pad. Um, Anyways, this is yeah. my paint rack right there. Um, I got two of them, and we get we're getting a third one, but it's on order or something. It's anyways. Yeah. Look, I started like double stacking my paints because you know there's not enough room, um, and that's why a lot of the paints on the floor. And behind your computer. And behind, and behind my computer. computer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bryce said nice rack. Thank you, Bryce. Um, okay, hold on. I, I just realized I haven't been reading these. Do you? Oops. Um, oh. Do you uh, still talk to Dan, Tectonic Dan? Uh, I've actually not I, talked to him in a while, I but I know he got a job somewhere at a new Long place. Pack? Long Pack Games, I think? Yeah, or something I don't know. like that. I just remember I saw him at... Oh, he did, he did. He stopped by at, uh, yeah, Gen Con or Before something like that. Yeah. But the uh, uh, point being is that I got, um, especially for my dropper bottles, I got one of his paint racks from the laser cutting he did. Right. And uh, that helped me cut down on a lot of space because just throw my drop like 40 dropper bottles into one of those racks yeah so yeah. Um, if he still has a store up uh, I might want to get something from him yeah I'll have to check it out um Rella we don't have a corgi I do I have a corgi he does we have a we have a golden retriever slash chihuahua don't ask how that was it was a it's achieved a, it's we Aaron got her from dirty no, stop. Erin got her from the. Where did y'all get like you? Adopted Logistics her? are not I think worth. He, got her, he adopted her. We don't know where they, she. Came uh, from. It was a single mom no, selling Aaron, a dog. Will you stop? No, no, oh, she didn't have the I dog. Are you talking, kidding me? I thought you were talking about the dog mom, and I was yes, like, Yes, it was the first human to give birth no, to a dog. Stop. No, it wasn't that. Jeez, oh, Louise. <laughs> poor, poor Louise. Yeah, so if you have a private lesson, lesson with Aaron, you can discuss whatever you would like. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting dog breeding and, yeah. you know, whatever. Oh, gosh. No. 
yeah. Let's put it this way. She's, she's a, a test tube she's doggy. She's a cutie patootie, though. Yeah, you she's golden retriever and what, Chihuahua? Her? No, yeah. not really. Someone will steal her. Come here, baby. Oh, my gosh. If somebody stole you, Merle, I would be <laughs> that would, that that would The joke here. would be on them. It's like, what, what did I do? I know. Here, I'm going to... I don't want to be in the stream because you know me. Put her in the paint cam. Come to me, jungle dog. Oh, my goodness. All right, everyone, that's her back. you just going to hey, lick me. Look, look over at here. that way. Look over here. Do, do, do. This is our baby. This is yeah. our, our mom. She's super cute. She's got little ear tuft things. Oh, good night, Bryce. Sorry. They turn into dreadlocks in the summer, which is really nice. And she likes taking walks, and that's about it. Yeah. Every once in a while, she poops in the living room. No, she does not. <laughs> Every once in a while. Most of the time, oh she goes on her walks. All right, Marley. Go back to sleep. You're a star. Oh, my gosh. Man, y'all are like... You're the only reason right anyone t- turns... <laughs> Dodge said she's wearing a harness just oh. like Aaron has to wear one when, he, when Liz takes him out into public. That's actually probably not... <laughs> Not, that is all truth right there. So, every time we go to the store, I always lose Aaron. I'm wondering. Babe, we're looking at your face. Still. Cowboy. Okay. This well, Mar- 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 I, so. Mar- Mar- so going in a circle, by the way. I, yeah, she, she's, just, she, she likes, just does that. She likes okay. that. Yeah, sometimes it means I've got to pee, but so, and other times it just oh. means I'm trying to lay down in a comfortable spot. Come on. Um. Cool. But yeah. I always lose Aaron, partially because I can't see over the shelves, but also partially because he just walks off and wanders around. We were buying groceries, and oh my God. She, she goes over, we're, in, we're both in the vegetable section, right, in the produce. She goes over to the one side. I went to the other side. I'm grabbing the spinach or whatever we needed. I turn around. There's no Liz. I'm like, where did she go? I'm looking everywhere. I'm like, oh my gosh, did she like? I know she didn't just leave this produce section because she would have been yelling at me to mark stuff off the list and everything. And then come to find out, she was like literally right in front of me. I just, she was so short. <laughs> it was shorter than I remembered. I am not you know, a tall person. From two minutes ago. Yeah, I am not a tall person. Um, it's. Is tell the truth, is she cleaner than Aaron? Oh, uh, three thousand percent. I'm, I'm a clean fanatic. I'm clean all the time. Our office is a disaster no, area. Our, our home looks as nice as it does because of because of Liz. Because if it wasn't, it would be full on bachelor pad. And I told Marty he would have to crawl in through the garage door. <laughs> To get to his room. There's boxes and boxes There's, everywhere. There'd be miniatures. There'd be armies just strewn all over the place. And, you know. There would be no Christmas decorations up. True. Which would uh, be That sad. would be the truth. I love lights. And I, I love it, too. I just. Greenery and the smelling of the fake Christmas tree <laughs> sticks. The, the tree sticks. Fake green stuff. Mm-hmm. We balance each other out very well. Damn, those colors are popping. Yeah. What, um, I don't know what dragon eyes look like. Look up just hey, uh, your dragon phone eyes. Is, your phone is on. Just look up. Hey, like, Dodge, look, your photo's right there. <laughs> Oh, no, that's not Dodge. That isn't Dodge. That's Garrett. Garrett. Look up a desolation Which is like Dodge, but different. You remember Smaug? Yeah. Yeah, just look up his eye from from Desolation of Smaug. Also, I love that the top thing on your search list was Chargers. Um, (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Look it up, scores, babe. Uh, Gray Mauser said, my 5'1 mother liked it when we got an apartment with doors over the scene. I don't know. Which she could reach like... especially because she could... He's got a bunch them. of photos. May I? Aaron is not listening. That's okay. I'm I'm paying attention, Gray Mauser. <laughs> it's super funny. 
We're looking up dragon eyes. So I'm an inch taller than your mom. No, the funny thing is, Liz, you're not you're not that short. I'm not but, super short, but, but if you in the produce family, section, you were really short. I don't understand. Like don't you just you disappeared. I don't know. I'm See? super short compared to my family. Oh yeah, wow. I mean, there's a lot of reflection in there because it's a DVD cover, but it's like. Josh has stopped cheating on me. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint it like this, and then we're going to get he's a cease and desist. Paying, and He's still not paying any attention. I don't know if I have enough room to paint that. You can do it. Just, it's just a cat don't eye. Don't be a baby. It's a cat eye with... Uh, it's it's a weird cat eye, but then it has this like brain matter right there. Like no, it's, this, it's because it's looking at the gold horde. Because, you remember the Hobbit movie? No. I don't watch nerd movies. Oh my gosh, don't you dare lie. <laughs> Okay, Lane said that he will give you a dollar. Do you it. listening to me? Look at me. He's going to give me a dollar. A la dollar no. bill. Holla. No, not done. He said he will give you a dollar if you paint Heather in the eye of that dragon. A painting of Heather inside of the eyeball. So I have a suggestion. I'm, I, hate, I hate to offer up a suggestion, but I, yeah. I may have a suggestion. Okay. How are we going to um, do this? Have you ever watched the video Squidmore did on how to paint eyes? No. Um, it's a cool video. I recommend it. Um, basically, you take... Um, is there any color inside the eye right now at all? I can't tell with the lights. It's like it's like white. Okay, so it is white. It's not whitish like yellow, right? whitish yellow. It's it's, it's an off-white. Okay. It's, it's probably... Well, um, it might be white. So take um, uh, a warm red uh, to represent, like, you know, the, the flesh around the eyeball. Uh-huh. Glaze that into the corners of the, the um, at least one like one side of the eye. Uh huh. To, like represent that it's not just like a flat color. There is like you know, like skin and stuff, or like you know what I mean, like muscle. Yeah. Um, and then do the cat eye as normal, like a like a cat eye. And right. Then, and then just do the reflection. Is that like a calico eye. cat or whatever, whatever that? <laughs> one of those dragon cats. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Right. Also, Vince said... Um, I don't want any tips from Vince. Oh, stop. That guy doesn't <laughs> know anything. Oh, my gosh. Don't you dare. <laughs> He's only here because I told him that we were... Vince, text there. me privately. He said, yeah. He said, no one remembers the Hobbit movie. We, all, we have all willfully forgotten. <laughs> he said it to make you feel better, Vince. Oh, okay. Good. Well, thank God we're not painting like Marvel comic book characters because I don't know any of those except for Goose Man who? I just I just nope okay nope you weren't a fan of the Goose Man <laughs> nope. series? nope man I hate to say this but I he does, he does I've got to poop superhero. really bad neither do I you have so. to poop? yeah do I want to paint? what time is it? it's 9.30 you got 30 minutes can you hold it for I don't. Minutes? I don't know Let's take bets. Okay, tell you what. I could go really quick. I well, mean, it's probably like well, a... Well, Aaron, don't... We do not need the details, babe. Okay? Um, I'm feeling like it could no, slide right out. why? I said no. <laughs> um, We're going to get in trouble. Yes, you are. In forums. While Aaron runs to the bathroom, <laughs> how about y'all post some questions for Aaron in the chat? About dragons. Nope. No. For when he gets back. Okay, I'm going to go study this photo here. Just look yeah. Up, yeah, just, just look up Smaug. How did we get on Howard the... Oh, who's me? I also, I also, I blame myself because I was, I told in another chat, it was like, oh, uh, Aaron's going to be live streaming. And so oh. Vince showed up, uh, friends of mine from New York showed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. also got a few, uh... Of our regulars that just like to be goobers. Love, yes. I know, Lane. I am playing a dangerous game, but you know, Aaron. Aaron likes to talk. So do I. So just post some questions, and then I'll be able to answer those. These are great questions, <laughs> <laughs> Heather. Uh, Heather, yours, I think Aaron is going... 
Um, He's going to love that one. Like, 100% is going to love that question. So I pull up the, the Reaper miniatures thing on Twitch, and it's the Smaug Eye is in the thumbnail now. Nice. <laughs> nice. New Line Cinema knocks. It's like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I need more questions. Does a cool yellow equal a warm orange? Uh, what? I might be able to help answer that. I th they're just posting questions okay. right now. Just shit posting? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that was a serious question or not, because I don't quite understand the question. No, I don't. That's I, okay, Rilla. We will get it figured out. Does a cool yellow equal a warm orange? I don't think so. Those are only loosely associated words. Um, that does look like a very, like, I, I, I hate to just, like, you know, um, ingratiate myself, but that is a very nice looking dragon. I know. It's with all the colors and stuff. You did a real good job on yeah. it. He was working on, oh, never mind, I can't talk about that. Uh, yeah, he was working on something else. He was working on something that is a secret, you aka just said... it's part of his studio work. And I walked into the kitchen and I was like, holy cow, that's not the word I used. That is beautiful. <laughs> Vince. It was... <laughs> Vince, Aaron... Okay, hey. so Vince, okay, I have to tell you this story real quick because uh -huh. it's so freaking funny. So Aaron... What is it not with Vince? I know. Well, it's not about Vince. It's to Vince. Uh -huh. But, so, Aaron gets questions a lot of the time from people that ask the same question over and over and over again. And... This is one of those. He, no, no, no. No. So, he... Oftentimes, after he's answered the same question, like, four times, over a period of, like, a year or something, mm -hmm. he'll just be like, you know, I have a video on that. And then he sends them the Patreon. <laughs> the Patreon link. Oh, yeah. Just, it's just like, like it's, it's on the Patreon. You've been a patron for like three years. Uh huh. It's free. <laughs> um, Relic, what is the best Christmas treat? Pasta with short rib. Pasta with short rib. What? Someone asked, what is the best Christmas treat? And I said, pasta oh. with short rib. Oh. No, my mom makes some amazing broccoli casserole, and that's what I'm looking forward to. You're walking funny. You're always walking funny. Yeah, so we've got some great questions for you, sweetie. Vince, for the last time I'm not, Vince, I'm not <laughs> single. Okay. I think He's always asking. <laughs> I know, but me and Babe, Kathy, I told him like 14 Kathy times. You worked it out? And like, the two of you, you do you. Is there like a love triangle between Tom Lyons, Vince Venturello, and Aaron Lovejoy? I'm not quite aware. possibly. Okay, so here we go. First question on the docket was yep. from Heather. Blue. She says, "What is Aaron's favorite green?" <laughs> Zero. <laughs> that one. Next question. Next question. Okay, Dodge said. Okay, I hear that Aaron. Take that back. Library green or uh, what is the. I, oh. Moth green. Ugh. Alien Ow. goo. Alien goo is awesome too. Excuse me. I okay. like those. I'm like super Nothing else. Burpee now. Okay. Dodge said, I hear that Aaron used oils on this. Did he varnish it before using acrylics? <laughs> no, I, 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 just, I just, I just, I don't even think the oils are dry. I'm just painting over them. Okay. Rella says, does a cool yellow equal a warm orange? <laughs> Wait, what? Aaron's head is No, it's like right on now. the other side of the color wheel. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, wait, are you pulling your color wheel out? Yes. Oh, okay, because I was just going to move on to the next question. I was about to slap Marty over Hold here. Hold on, she... We got, a, we, got a, we got a replacement question. Okay, so cool yellow would be over here, and then the orange is way over here. Okay. So, anyways, no. Okay. Um, so Cat Nat Nat says, I'm getting a Vex for Christmas. What is the first thing I should paint from Bones 5? Shavirna, if you got. I'm sorry, I answered for you. Yes. That, do that, what she said. Because that dragon is huge. It's super and dope. And you can do lightning things with it, like Aaron did. And People are saying, you, um, you, you dropped your, the award-winning miniature, by the way, when you were so angry. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how you win awards. You do this, and you're like, ah. Oh. So this is how this is how it works, right, Marty? You're painting. It's the best model you've ever painted, and then you like you just dropped it, and you're like, oh shoot. And then you know it'll be an award winner because you dropped it. <sighs> Although I've dropped a lot of models and they didn't win nothing. So. Okay, Ben said this is the most important question right here. Okay. How do you paint miniatures? Who does number two work for? <laughs> How do you paint miniatures? <laughs> um, this is actually the first one I've done, so I'm not quite sure. <laughs> He's still figuring it out, then. Still trying some different. Okay. Finger painting and stuff. We gotta, we gotta... I watch all of Vince's videos on you, the YouTubes. Oh, good it's, answer. That's how good I do it. answer. Okay, Rella said, how about this one? What is the best Christmas treat? Treat? Yeah, food. Sweets, unsweets. Peanut butter balls from my mom. Oh my gosh, Damn. you were so right. I am so... Oh... <laughs> Are you gonna just? Are you just gonna eat one? No, I don't. I don't said, think they're gonna, gonna make them. She said they were thinking about not making them this year because then no one can eat sugar anymore. Oh my gosh! Or, I think I just died a little. Yeah, Christmas is Christmas over. Christmas just got really dark, and now I'm super sad. Okay. Well, Heather said, "What do I do?" <laughs> what do what I do, do I with do all this tree the bark? And my airbrush is clogged. Winky face. <laughs> Heather, you've been in my airbrushing class twice, twice. now. <laughs> and I know you've at least watched all of the footage because oh you've done all, all of our... Oh, God. shade in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm getting there. Right. We're, we're still... Uh, Here we go. This is, this is for Heather. This is how you do it. Oh. Take off the lid like that. You pull this oh, out. Actually. <laughs> see, oh. you see a little of that paint came out? Well, that's because I didn't wash. I didn't. I didn't. Did I? I didn't clean my airbrush. Did you just get that on the dragon? I don't think so. And the plinth. The plinth is okay. Okay. So this is called white painting. This is something. This is a Wapple, James Wapple thing. You just wipe it off. I think that's okay. Oh, I don't see. I think. Anyways, but did you see that, Heather? You shake it like this. Shake it like this. And that that clears your nozzle. Let's see. Don't knock this off, okay? If it's clean. Now. Like this. Vince can corroborate with me. He's been airbrushing for probably longer than I have. <laughs> yes, Vox, I did Google snort. Yeah, we haven't gotten Liz to snort. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Perfect spray through. Oh and that was the, uh, the clean it out wiggle test. Okay. Good old, good old Jeff. Jeff says, Hinton. Yes. Yeah, so, so what's the best brush to use? <laughs> what is the best brush to use? Uh, Raphael eighty four hundred four. Done. Um, um. <laughs> actually, I haven't used in a long time. I've been using these monument brushes. They're pretty good. Um. I destroyed all my monument brushes. I, I love them so much, I use them into the ground. Yeah, I've been kind of doing the same thing. You know what's funny is they, they don't... So if I want something really, really tight, um, I'm going to use my Raphael. Or or these... Uh, oh, these are these are the absolute top dogs. Rubeloff. Can't get them anywhere except Lane. Lane has a connection. Who? Uh, Rubeloff brushes. Yeah, who has a connection? Lane, Lane from uh, San Diego. Vince said you're doing pretty average for your first miniature. Yeah, he Rear Admiral Large Barge. He's the guy. Best name who, ever. Who has the uh, lowdown on the Rubeloff brushes, which you have to get on the Russian black market. Okay. I'm Rella, not even joking there. Rella has another question. What is the most frustrating model you've ever painted? Like the, in in all of your 20 years of painting. This one. No, I'm it just is kidding. Not. Um, this one's actually been a lot, pretty fun to paint. Um, in my 20 years of painting, what was the hardest one? Frustration wise was the, was, was, uh, Voldemort, but that was just because I was learning how to sculpt and, and, and then paint something that big. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I don't remember being that frustrated on anything, quite honestly. Um, but like the worst things to paint are things I don't want to paint. And so painting for a living, you end up just painting lots of stuff you don't want to paint. Like even, even when it's cool, it's not what you wanted to paint. So, um, but I do really appreciate being able to make a living off this. So it's not like, you know, it's not like I hate it, hate it. So we, we may have burst your bubble, Aaron. Uh, <laughs> People in the chat saying uh, are are finding places to get Ruble offs. Uh, is it this one though, the one 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 zero? Here's the other thing: is is uh, I mean that might have changed since I looked for it last, but I remember Zane, Lane had to go to this Russian place. They're actually fingernail brushes, and that's why they're actually they're so good for uh, miniature painting. Oh my gosh! Also, I feel really bad. That was not. Just- that is Mark. Mark, so you mistaken and Jeff Identity. have the same no, they have the same name. What? Well, kind of. So his is Max painted and Oh, is Max Styles painted. Max Styles painted, yeah. Ah. So that's why I got real confused. I was like, oh, he shortened his name. Nope. Different person altogether. altogether. Yep. All right. All right, Heather said, serious one, if you start with airbrushing and you get a unique blend of colors, then later you need to touch up an area, how do you color match, especially if if it is in an area that you need to brush paint? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is always put a little black in your paint. So if, if like, you airbrushed with this red paint right here, this warm red, um, you're always going to start by putting just a little bit of black into it because... Unless you started with a white underbase, but most nine times out of ten, most of us have the black, black or black and white underbase. So you're always going to have a little bit of a darker color showing through, always. So you always want to start with a little bit of black in your color. It doesn't matter what the color is, except for maybe yellow. But you wouldn't be doing yellow over black anyway. So um, yeah, so always match that, and it's your color is always going to look a little darker on the palette than it actually is on the model. So you always have to do tests. And that's the hardest part. That's the scariest part. All right. Kat Nat Nat said, um, if I avoid animal products, any good recommendations for synthetics? I answer. I uh, type something in the chat to respond to that. Yeah. Actually, I got a recommendation from Aaron, I'm pretty sure. It wasn't Aaron. It was Vince. But I'm going to say it was Aaron. It it's Jones. just like getting a recommendation from me. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so Aaron, Aaron does use the Monument brushes, but he also uses cheap hobby brushes from, like, Michael. I, I do. Well, um, so. Monument makes a synthetic line. I think they're called yeah. the Bomb Wicks. They are. That's yeah. what... Uh, That's well, they changed it. It's not the Bomb Wicks anymore, but it's their synthetic line. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I actually, they just, just did a... synthetics now. Yeah. Um, but also, the you can just get, like, the hobby brushes from uh, Michael's or an art store or whatever for super cheap and Aaron uses those a lot especially with wet blending the 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 thing you're gonna find though is um they're never gonna be the same as a as a a Klinsky sable so I I get it why you wouldn't want to use those but the the so I don't like the the bomb wicks um and this is a bomb wick yeah, so I they're know, not bomb wicks. Just... They're the synthetic ones are a different one. Oh, okay. um, they're yeah, the, the they're the bomb knot wicks or something. No, they're not um, they're called either of those things. But I don't really like the long, the bigger ones, like the size one and twos. I think they're a little bit floppy. But they're smaller ones, so size zero, size zero one, zero two, that type of thing. Fantastic in the synthetic. Um, so that's that's honestly that's probably where I'd go for that. So they're the the blue handled brushes on Monument Hobbies website. Oh yeah. Um, they're just called Pro Synthetics. Keeping it blue handled. They they took away the. It's either I, Pro I Sable it, or Pro Synthetics. Yeah, I think it got there confusing the bomb with the bomb wicks and the, the whatever. It was just like one synthetic, one yeah. sable, and, and it was impossible to remember which one was which. So. Yeah. That type of thing. But I ordered their synthetic line for the metallics when I was starting to really mm-hmm. try and up my TMM game, and they were very nice. Yeah, his uh, Jason's Jason's brushes are good. I like hey, them. 
Hey, 20 Sided TV. Thanks for rating. What? What? Hope you had a great stream. I forgot I have to paint that. We just did Man. like a, a flurry of questions for Aaron for like 20 minutes. It was great. At least that's what we're telling ourselves. Mm-hmm. What are you doing right now? I'm, uh... It's gonna ruin the month. Making paint. I'm gonna airbrush this base really quick. I totally forgot I have to, to uh, oh. paint the... Oh. Paint the base. <laughs> They said that their cat stepped on their keyboard and ended the stream, so they lost viewers before they they got. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you do okay? that. We need a cat, babe. No, no we do not. No, we no, don't. No, we do not. Taylor would be like, yes. Yeah, she. Remember when she sent me that text a few weeks ago? Aaron's daughter sent me a text. Hey. So can I get a cat? And I was like, Yeah, that no. scared me because her friend had just gotten a cat. And I was like, oh, no. They were at the, that was when they were at the. Oh, they were actually at the place? At the yeah. animal services or whatever, the pound. I don't know what you Like, call sure, it. if you're moving out. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah. I was like, yeah, no, no cats. We were pushing Definitely it not. with the dog here, so. Yeah. See this vents perfectly clean airbrush. He said, "Sure, just shake it like a Polaroid. It works every time." Yeah. yeah. That was pretty funny. My how to clean the nozzle. Oh my God. <laughs> that was for those of you who don't uh, have no clue. That was not how you clean a nozzle. No. I was just messing with Heather. Did on how to clean your airbrush. Yeah, we should. Maybe that'll be a freebie. Yeah, we should push it on. Uh, we should push it directly to Reaper on their Facebook page. Oh, good idea. But we could also just put it, uh, open it up as ours on our, our site. Max Keenan said, "I've never used an airbrush." Um, they're pretty awesome. One. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. Also, it still makes me laugh that I thought you were a chef. <laughs> it's like when you're in the store and you wave at somebody because you think that you see somebody that you know. Yeah, and, and then they're like. It's not the same person eh? that you thought it was. What the heck? You're doing a real good job. Yeah, it's probably Thank my you. best effort ever. <clears throat> Heather is correct. Oh, 20 sided, you should totally try using an airbrush. Erin does have an awesome airbrushing class that you can purchase at any point in time throughout the year because it is pre recorded. There are also airbrushing videos on Miniature Monthly. A bunch of them. Also true. Just in case anyone's just super ready and excited about taking classes, we have classes on our website. Yeah, and you don't have to go anywhere. You just do it in your, just in your follow house. follow that link. And Aaron has four classes that are up, one of which is... Just kidding. Aaron has three classes up, one of which is the live class that we'll be doing in January for the non-metallic metal. Um... And then the other two are just pre-recorded. You just get all of the, all of the stuff. But you do have an option to view them live when they come around again. It's just. <clears throat> not, but I, I don't have it. I don't. Oh, have you it don't have it listed. The, okay. Yeah, because it, money-wise, it gets real confusing. Yeah. So it's easier to just to do it when it comes. All out. that confusion. Um, also, he does one-hour private coachings. Yes. So. Like with me. Yeah, yeah, that's what Martin's doing. Martin's doing it, and then Dodge, if he wasn't here, I don't know if he's still here, does them. Lane, Jeff, even though Jeff wasn't Jeff. Uh, Goober Town Hobbies told me he's watching. Sweet. Oh, cool. I've watched some of his videos. 
I don't, it's hard, it's hard watching videos because <laughs> you know, hey, here's my blue liner. There Can you, you believe that? It was on my desk right in front of me. It was in the shop the whole time. Yeah, that's, so that's how it works. Yep, there he is. Lurker Town <laughs> Hobbies. Lurker Town Hobbies. Um, actually, I, since he's rolling on here, um, I did watch his video on, uh, mixing 3d printing resins and that actually helped cause I've literally mixed everything that I've got. I'm mixing <laughs> water based with the regular resin. It just doesn't matter. And if, if, if he hadn't made that video, I probably would have never known that you could do that. Um, yeah, Rubicon, Aaron's private coachings do, he does them through uh, Google Hangouts. I think now it's called Google Meet, but he can also do them through, through Zoom or Discord, Skype, Facebook, yeah. Skype. I don't know why you still use Skype. I don't know why anybody would use Skype. I still love you anyway. Oh, I don't use Skype. I try not to. Oh, okay. It's, it's the most non-intuitive yeah, dial-up I, program ever made, but... Anyways. Whoa. Lynn yeah, said uh, last time his was through Google Meet. Oh. Uh, uh, Goober Town. Uh, he made, Aaron made uh, for the night, was it night, night models that made the Voldemort? Yeah. Uh, he made this whole uh, corner Hogwarts uh, <gasps> staircase out of blender and everything. It was, it was truly one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in terms of like a supporting piece for the miniature itself. But he like hand sculpted that digitally. It was incredible. So if you go on my uh, Instagram, which is, I have no clue what it is, but um, if you go it's to it. It's Art of Lovejoy. Art of Lovejoy. All one word. Yeah. On Instagram. On Instagram. Um, it's on there. Of course. And, and Rub just... Rubicon, as far as the, uh, the private coaching format goes, it can be whatever you want. Um, so the way that he conducts them is completely up to you. So if you wanted to do like a paint along type thing, um, if you're, if that's your style of learning, then he can do that. If you would prefer to just like work on something throughout the week and then you want like critiques on it, then he can do that as well. It's just, it's really up to you and how you learn. So that's, adapt. Yeah. this is the piece that I did for, this was my best in show piece at Reapercon this year. And all the pieces were 3D printed. So I, I sculpted everything, um, including these water effects back here, which I'm the most proud of and nobody noticed. Uh, but that water is actually swirling up in the air at the same rate as the magic. Yeah, very nice. So pretty cool. I think I'm going to see if I can find the photos on the Facebook. Face base. Face base. <clears throat> post a link so that you, people can see the photos. I was talking about uh, one of those models that it's it's hard to control yeah. that much green magic. <laughs> then I, don't, I don't want to keep you from uh, finishing. The, uh, That's the true. Process. We should probably finish this up. Yeah. Huh? So anyways, Goober Town, you make good videos. I like them. Like, like I said, I don't, I don't have a lot of time to actually watch videos. Um, I watched some the other day. Actually, I listened to some the other day, which kind of defeats the purpose of watching them. But sometimes you just need that white noise, right, Martin? <laughs> um, my white noise is a YouTube channel called Red Letter Media. Okay, there you go. I've probably watched more, or I've listened to more movies than I've watched in my life. That's that's for darn sure. If they have a lot of machine gun noises, that's the best for me for painting. Red Letter Media is just a lot of drunken, cynical laughter. There you go. Sometimes critiques of cinematography. Oh, bye, Lane. See you later, Lane. Good luck. He got his entry in, right? Lane worked. I don't know. I'll have to look and see. Max Cannon said, are there any hidden pieces? 
Are you talking about uh, peniles? No. No. I'm I'm getting old and I'm I. Are you sure this isn't Jeff? Are you trolling me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was some one hundred percent a Jeff question right there. He said, "Yeah." I think y'all are the same he's, person. He's the new Jeff. Okay, so that is the link to. I think that's the link to. Oh. Whoa! That's that why. was loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? It, it's Mark Maxi. That's why. Ah, hey, that, that would explain a hell of a lot. Yeah, okay, that's that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Mark is a beginner painter. He's no, got, you better uh, stop. He is not. Okay. Mark was my painter. Adepticon date, or still is. We just haven't been to Adepticon in a while. <laughs> Day one, you know, we always go to dinner that first night, and Mark's there. So fantastic painter. Um, the two Instagram links that I put in the chat. The first one is to Aaron's um, the photos of his sculpting of the Voldemort thing. Wow, I am the super it's words Hogwarts today. staircase. Yeah, that one. Thanks. Um, and then the second one is the painted one. Yeah. If you wanted to see up close and personal. Facebook crap or Instagram crappy photos. Man, that so sucks. Cause like I know that you took really good pictures with it, but like looking at the photos on the computer, they're super blurry. Might be a, a difference it's in resolution. Just, it is. The, um, the resolution on most phones is yeah. not comparable to the monitor that you have right now. Oh no, I know, I know. No, because those are my actual photos, so they might be. Uh, Dialed uh, down. He right now he's using one of the synthetic brushes from Monument Hobbies. Um, it's Klinsky Sable, but same thing. What is the number on the brush? Seven. Why? Six. Nope. It's a zero. That's all that's there. Zero. <laughs> it's a size zero. Uh, it is Klinsky size Sable. Zero. So this is the brush that he's currently using. I like them. I mean, they rock. I, I find myself grabbing these all the time. So, and you know how it is. If I don't, if I don't like it, I don't care if you give it to me for free. I'm ain't gonna use it. So. Um, oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Mark said, I still love that sushi roll. Is, is that what we're calling it now, Mark? Ah, Aaron Lovejoy. Lovejoy <laughs> and sushi. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right, the sushi rolls, oh, yeah, gosh. yeah. I don't it wasn't that sushi. other time. Stop. And Bryce said you need to do a staircase paint along. That would be like a five-year process. <laughs> So, so you want to hear the story behind that. Um, so I had it pretty much done. So ReaperCon this year, I had my most entries, like my most, the most high level entries I think I've ever entered at a ReaperCon, um, which was really cool. Of course, we had the pandemic. So, you know, I had a bunch of models sitting around um, and I had a bunch of deliveries to make. So I turned them all into contest entries. And um, two days before we left for ReaperCon, uh, I saw what Eric Swenson was bringing to ReaperCon. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, that is friggin' beautiful. And if you haven't seen War, look up Eric Sw Sw Swenson Swans. and Swans. I almost said Swanson. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Swami Sweat sw Swocks. Um, we are really good. Yeah, we're, I'm losing it. Oh, my God. Um, look up Eric Swenson and look up his War piece. I mean, look up everything he's done because it's just friggin' fantastic. Um but I saw what he was bringing, and I was like, oh, crud. That's really good. So I went back, and I reskinned the entire staircase, um, meaning I retextured it and, like, brought up the detail and stuff. Because, like, you know, there's a certain point on miniatures where you're like, you know what? Good enough is good enough, right? It's like, it's a strong piece. 
I'm done. But I think sometimes seeing what other people have to bring and knowing what your competition is um, can help you push and, you know, push that little extra mile. And I'm glad I did because everything looked, it was crisper. It was more in focus and, and, uh, and the textures were all better. So it was, it was a good thing that I did that, but yeah. So I spent an entire day reskinning that, that, uh, staircase. That was super exciting. Not for Liz. She was like, I thought you were done. Yeah. Well, but yeah. you said that many times during the, I did. Yeah. Aren't you done with that staircase? No, I know, started I over. You, 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 <laughs> you've been working on it for four months and you started over. <laughs> well, the problem was most of the stuff I had done was unusable. So, and then when I found out it was unusable, it was like, oh, crud. Got to oh, do it again. Good night, Heather. Good night, Heather. I always say when I'm done, walk away for an hour and then see something else to add. Yep. I always admire how sharp you're able to keep your brush. Isn't That's it a lot of, lot of brush licking right there. Isn't it super frustrating, though? Uh... As someone that he's as, that he's able to do that. Well, as someone who uh, tries to never lick their brushes. Yeah. Oh. There, there that's it. there. There you have it. Yeah. Um, the thing is, though, like I mean, Sergio keeps his brush tip point. What I can't talk. Sergio has a tight has a tight tip. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm just gonna leave that right there. Oh um, my. And he doesn't lick his brush at all. House of X after dark. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, technically. How to keep your yeah. tip tight. No, but stop, 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 stop. Okay. What? What were you saying before you flub? Brush control. Yeah, brush control is uh, a thing. Yeah. So I always say don't, don't do something technical at the very start of your paint session and don't do it at the very end. Fox said the secret to keeping a good brush point like that is earwax. And let me tell you, Aaron has plenty of that. That's right. I keep it on. He just, he just, that's how he swabs his ears. Yeah. His paintbrushes. I just. Um, oh, God, that actually makes my ears itch. Does it? Yeah, thinking of, oh, okay. <laughs> Rubicon I think stopped. I know our next video. Oh, oh, no. Rubicon said, have you been using the Chimera paints a lot? How do you use them? Um, okay, so first of all, just to never ask Aaron how do you use something because I feel like that is, Aaron, you're going to get a smart ass answer. It's going to happen. Yeah, you got to realize when talking to me, it's mostly sarcasm that comes out yeah. and then there's like a little nugget of truth. Um, okay, how about let's start with the, the nugget of truth first? I don't know. I can't. I can't. No, I know. I see your. Like, there's it's... something I don't like about. It. I love them, but I also there's something I don't like about them, and I can't remember what it is right now because I'm an idiot. Um, you said that after you started mixing. Oh, that was a gosh. <laughs> Too much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you said that after you started mixing the Chimera paints with other paints, you liked it better. So is it like maybe two pigments? There's something about the finish of the Chimera paints um, while you're painting. Like it's almost like they got crusty on me. And I don't know, maybe, I mean, that might be user error on my part. What are you that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they got crusty? Yeah, they got crusty. Stop. <laughs> I think I am... Come on, Goober Town Hobbies knows what I'm talking so about. I'm so tired. Um, um, okay, they said, how are they different than other paints is what they mean. They're, they're, they're paint. They're just paint. That's it. Um, they do come with a satin thing, so they might be a little bit matter than normal, but they're definitely not flat like uh, Scale 75s, which are super hyper matte, um, which I find hard to work with. Um, do you have a base that you can plop it on? No, yeah. no, I don't have any of those There's things. There's plenty over here. So I did, so let's just, 
so I did that knee pad with with those paints. These this gold is just my standard um, ochre with black and white, and then this was Chimera paints. So um, that's like not all the way done, but but you can see. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Um, Sometimes they feel chunky. Does that make sense? Crusty. Crusty. <laughs> Crusty. That was like such a weird word to use. And it, it well, thank to you. Describe paint. I know. And it just tickled but my funny bone. And done, and done tickled that funny bone. Super um, said Chimera just has fewer pigments in each bottle, right? I've never actually gotten my paws on them. Um. Uh. uh they're like, like the, that doesn't mean that, that they don't have pigment in them. That just means they have one pigment is making the paint. There's a crap ton of pigment in each bottle. Um, and I think, I think that might be why they feel a little crusty to me. But also, I'm the type of person, I don't thin my paints um, ever. Um, and so maybe that's part of the issue. Maybe I need to thin them a little bit, but I really don't want to. I mean, they seem to wet blend great and everything, but like I said, they just had like a little bit of funkiness. Now, does that stop me from using them? No, not at all. And so maybe it just part of it's, you got to remember, sometimes it's just user error. It's just you, you know, like you haven't figured out that particular paint yet. Um, I remember a long time ago, I threw away all my Citadel paints because the cool kids were all using Vallejo. And so I, I chucked all my Citadel paints I jumped on the bandwagon, and I was like, oh, I'm a cool kid now. And then I took the Jeremy Bonamont class um, when he came to the U.S. many, many years ago. And, um, and I realized that Citadel paints actually blended for me better than any other brand. And so then I was buying all my Citadel paints back, and that was the last time I threw away a paint. Um, so, yeah. Uh, sometimes your paint skills catch up with the paint that you're using. So, you know, if something doesn't work today, that doesn't mean, you know, chuck it. Just come back to it in a year. And maybe your paint, maybe your painting has changed a little bit. Um, or maybe, maybe you've gotten better at painting. Who knows? Or you just understand how to use them better. So, Look at that technique. yeah, this is called the dip and flock. <laughs> I mean, in person, it looks like real stone. I am was... still kind of disappointed that nobody has entered a dip and flocked miniature that would, that would into miniature be... monthly masters uh, as a joke like would you like me to do it yes okay. somebody yeah you got a couple yeah, hours somebody. Marty. yeah i have i have you a have... few inches of workspace to work on <laughs> yeah. right hold on hours. there's a whole drawer of sponsored yeah. miniatures right there. <laughs> we have like the dip and flock award mm-hmm and then award. everyone would be upset because like marty was the only one who knew about it yeah Wait a second. So, the best color for stone is not a stone color at all. You rarely are. Yeah, pretty much. Because rocks are filled with so much more color than people think. But also... Oh, uh, that's a really pretty color. Yeah. It's minty. It's, it's minty fresh. Bryce so that's could do that. that's pale He's green. It. Wait, I thought Bryce went to bed. I thought. Wait, Bryce, I thought you went to bed too. He kn he knew that we were coming on to something. Now he's like, oh my oh, gosh, they're doing good rocks. Night. Good night, Rella. It was nice to meet you too. Good night. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Kicking it old school with Bryce us. Bryce is gonna enter his one entry. This year. We're gonna have like 150 dip, dip and flock models, and and everyone's gonna be like, "Wait, what?" Because <laughs> literally everyone on this stream could could pull one off pretty quick. Yeah, I've already posted the the Patreon page, so no, be worth it. Yeah. I mean, then I'd also have to make a. That's what we call the five dollar joke. Dip and flock. Yeah, have to make a dip and flock. Uh, digital award aka a pdf <laughs> that you can print out at home and Could, put into a frame so do you remember at the ReaperCon that one year they they did the uh the uh oh shoot what's it called what are those candies called 
gummy bears. Oh yeah. The they did. Gummy bears. They did painted gummy bears. And you would be sh- like, I was like, huh? And then they asked me. They they grabbed me. I had just finished judging the contest. And they grabbed me and they're like, hey, could you judge? We're doing this, you know, joke contest. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And they're like, yeah, we got all these, you know, gummy bears and stuff. And so I'm thinking there's just going to be paint, like, kind of blobbed on these gummy bears. Dude, it was legit some of the best gummy bear painting. Now, granted, I'd only ever seen that gummy bear painting, but it was the best gummy bear painting I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It's friggin' amazing. Um, Rubicon would like for you to, to explain what dip and flop means. Um, so that's probably the quickest way to paint a miniature, and you just uh, you get some white glue. Um, PVA. PVA glue or some, you know, Elmer's or whatever. And you just, you put it in a, in a container, like fill up this cup with PVA glue and you just, you just dip your model in and then you flock it and you're done. And it's kind of cool because you get that effect of the flock running down the sides, you know, as it, as it. Oh, Bryce, I will definitely, I, I see the text on my phone now. So I'll, I will play that after the stream. I'll make Aaron watch it with me. Yeah. All right. Man, that looks really good. That's Is a, it that's really a, interesting? That's a, that's a good looking... Croc. Croc. Plin. That's the word I was trying to think of, but for some reason... Well, it's after, it's after time. Croc so was the only... Yeah. I'm surprised. Uh, that's a good rock. Exactly, Goober. Exactly. That's a good rock. The good rock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love that rock. I guess it's more like a stone. Like a shaped stone. A stone rock. A stone rock. So I use the greenish, the greenish color because it just shows up. I almost said greenish yellow. It's oh. not greenish yellow, but it's a mint. It's mint. It's like a mint julep. Oh yeah, that's your that's your like trick. trick a trick color. color for for doing stone. You always want to. Uh, well, you don't always want to, but it's like highlighting warmer colors with a cold edge highlight can sometimes cheat the eye. <laughs> into um thinking thinking it's a better paint job than it is i'm just kidding no, no, like, <laughs> that's what we're working for <laughs> we're, we're, we're we're cramming more um temperatures of color tone into a small space so and you're also getting um so it's a con it's a contrasting color so there's different forms of contrast and there'd be warm and cool which this rock is warm and then this this uh this Mint. pale green is cool Right now, but if I had like blue, this pale green would be warm because of the the tone that it is. So it's very important that you sort of pay attention to your surroundings. That's why I highlight my uh, red wine colored armor with glacier blue. Yeah. Bryce said, okay, so earlier when he said goodnight, everybody, he wasn't leaving. Oh, he was fake leaving. So on Animaniacs, Yakko... Mm -hmm. Whenever somebody says something spicy, apparently, yes. he says, Good night, everybody. I don't remember this yeah, because he, I haven't seen Animaniacs since I was like. How does Bryce know kids. these things? Um, He's got kids. It is, it is. There are also new episodes on Hulu because they rebooted it last. Um, oh, that's weird. Um, either right before COVID or in 2019. Uh, but Yako always says, like, if there's just like something awkward or like spicy, yeah. like, uh, Good night. And then it transitions out and into another scene. <laughs> oh, that, that's, you learn something new every day. I think I would just have a T-shirt that said "Good night," and I would never have to talk. Y'all. Well, it would need you to just be... say "Good night, y'all." Yeah, "Good night, y'all." That's that's what it would say. All right. That's. I mean, I it's just... only my mom, right? What? I'm just kidding. He, yeah, he, I think he's <laughs> just been done to death that point. Throw with the towel. Look how. Beautiful. See, if we just do it like this, that's so much better. Zoom me out. Zoom. We're going to zoom her out. All right. Throw it down on the table and it falls. <sighs> okay. Are you going to show her? Oh, you're so close. Ooh. <gasps> Guys, 
It's time. It's time for the House of Vex. <laughs> We're actually gonna airbrush. Finisher. Finisher. We will the use the airbrush um, for the first time. For Bryce, the, last the time. feet are invisible. They're really, really small too. So like you can't really see them with your with your eyes. Yeah. They're tiny, <sighs> tiny feet. Tiny little invisible feet. So tiny that he doesn't actually have to. They don't even exist. Damn. What are you doing? I don't know what I did. Oh. He's like, when you really got to go. That's taking too long. You did a great job. I did. It was probably the best spray through I've ever done. That was a lot of spray through. Now you're just going to be glazing in sh shadows with light links. Okay. Something like that. You know, honestly, I don't think it needs anything, but you know what? He's going to do it anyway. Just wreck it. No. It's not Don't wreck it. it. So I wonder. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. I know. I Is don't it, think you really need to do much of anything. Six hours of painting? It's not too bad. Vince would do it in like two. In a Probably. Quarter. This could just look at it in the paint itself. Yeah, pretty much. Um. Ooh, excuse me. Rubicon said, "Do you flush with water after spray through?" Uh, yeah. I mean, technically, my my thinner is is water and and uh, isopropyl alcohol mix. Um. So I'll type in the chat the what the mixture is. The mixture is. It's. Vince said five out of seven. Well done. Yeah, let's, uh, so we'll put some sepia in here just to, oh, this is the part you might want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching. It's yeah. Just now I'm going to, I'm going to lean in. That's a good dragon. So, um, so you want, your control is the, is the most important thing right here. So like I'm spraying, I'd call them 10% sprays. I'm spraying like that much. Like yeah. there's a hundred percent. That would mess up your model. So I'm like right. spraying just a little bit. And the thing is, what helps is, so I'm not thinning the, my inks at all because I want them to be as strong as possible. But I'm putting as small amount as possible on. Um, but it shows up really good. And yeah. all you need is a little bit to change the tone of your model and actually make it look way, way better. You want to zoom back in? No. Nobody asked for it, but... I, I know that people like to see anything. <gasps> Look at that. It's so see. pretty. I always forget where am I at. When you get super zoomed in, like your focal length gets all messed up. Alright. We'll go. I really don't want to get it on the ear here. Um like that. Wow, yeah. Yeah, so it just changes a little bit. And and so you know when you're painting um, when you're painting eyeballs, how much do you have to be off on a 28 millimeter to make them cross-eyed? Yeah. Like a hair, right? I think your shadows and your color is the same thing. So you're always talking about like massive contrast between colors. So like that color compared to that color is a massive contrast. But I think there's just as much of that eyeball contrast where you've got just a little bit of color change and it makes a huge difference in the model. So I just put in, sometimes your shadows are just a little bit darker and it makes all the difference in the world. And if you're wondering, I'm spraying at 40 PSI. So I'm a baller. Mm -hmm. um, but the reason for that is 40 PSI is going to give you a much more atomized um, color. Yeah. 
and it's not going to clog the river still. Yeah, th that's the funny thing. I thought everyone told me, oh, it's going to clog. I thought it was going to clog. Um, but actually, that clogs that, it no, clogs it's less because like, you're, you're actually you're, you're just throwing that paint out. You're literally blasting it out of your, your air brush. Your cup is covering the entire thing. Yeah, I know. Thing. <laughs> I don't think there's anything for it, unfortunately. When we get the new table, I'll be able to put my camera in a different spot. Yeah. For, but for right now, it's kind of stuck where it's at. It's a pain in the butt. Then said, uh, jokes aside, he does look truly wonderful, sir. Awesome work as always. Thanks, Vince. If you don't know, Vince is a newcomer to the painting game, and he has a very small YouTube channel um, with like 200,000. Yeah, just a few thousand uh, subscribers. We had two famous YouTubers in one night. I must Turbers? be doing. I must be doing something right. Can you say YouTubers again, please? Turbers. Turbers. <laughs> The air I told everybody you were on stream. Well, then that's that's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need you to tell everybody that he's on stream every month now. All right. I'll show up with the, my Marlon Brando impersonation and shit. Yeah. That always well, works. Uh, there you go. We'll start uh, paying Marty to be the hype man. Yeah. <laughs> you can do like flavor play. Sure. <laughs> Right. Just wears a giant paintbrush around his neck. I'm sure Vince already does that to some capacity. Probably. Alright. Cool. He's still gonna have to dot the eyes. <sighs> I don't wanna do that. My mom's never gonna know the difference. You're right, Just actually. She won't. She won't. <laughs> She'll be like, oh, this is great. This is pretty. Yeah, we are glad that you're here, Goober Town. Whoa, <gasps> Mama. Yeah, that was almost bad. Well, not that bad. I got a, I got a puddle pad. You do have a puddle pad, but it's like a holy puddle pad, because you hadn't. That's the same one that we put on right before you started the last online class. There we go. If I go like that. Also, the problem when I go this way, then my hand gets in front of the light. Yeah. And then I can't see what I'm doing, which is kind of a big deal. You're kind of a big deal. If you're a dragon. spot right there. Yeah. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Right. So I had a student once who was all frustrated because he couldn't he couldn't hit stuff like right. And he's like, I don't know, I can't aim correctly. And so I started showing him and like my first shot is always in the wrong spot. Mm -hmm. But it's so little I just see it change color and I move to the correct spot and I nail it. And so once he saw that, the guy's like friggin' fantastic airbrusher um, now. But Bryce said, I will have to see how much your mom will sell it for. Probably like two dollars. Seven bucks or something. Possibly. All right. Oh shoot. I just want this color. I want is transparent burnt umber. So I prefer Liquitex inks over Dalaranis because there's more transparent ones. I could be wrong with that, but it seems like a lot of Dalaranis are opaque. Aren't all inks transparent? I don't know. If you put them down no, to 10%, they all are, but... So, <laughs> yeah. But answer. this one actually says transparent, yeah, so... Yeah, they'll say transparent, and then some of them are opaque, so they have like a little symbol on them that show that they're opaque. Pages. Yeah. Oops. Inks. That was strong. doing just not gonna like moldy lines yeah I'm molding it so 
some of this is to put a shadow in. Some of it is to cover up somewhere where my brush stroke was too evident. Just give it more color. Yeah. Shades of brown. I could probably go greens, but I don't think I don't want to do that. So we got a warm base, cool, cool model. Yeah. No, um, I, would, I wouldn't go with that because there's already too much green in the, I think uh, that works. In the highest. Son of a biscuit. What? Wait. This is the front. And I put a highlight right there. Well, I guess the light could be coming that way, huh? It is. It's fine. Yeah. I'm going to be completely honest. You're, it's for your mom. She's not going to notice. I, but I'll notice. Okay. You think Martin's going to give his mom something where the highlights are? <laughs> I've painted some cool miniatures for my before. <laughs> yeah, and he always put the highlights in the legit spots. Um, you still have to dot the eyes. Yeah. You really want to. Oh. I said she's going to sell it anyways. She's going to sell it. <laughs> Bryce is probably already, he's already called her. I know. I, I, I think seeing this miniature in person after you dot, like, do some little, like, two white dots in the eyes, I think, you're, I think you can call it. Call it a, a day? Yeah. I'm telling you, Good not time. doing electricity through this whole dragon has made it a lot quicker. Yeah, we didn't have to work on it for six months. Not painting individual swirls. Yeah. These are life choices that you might want to make if you want to get stuff done quickly. Okay. It's been a really long time since up. 6 o'clock this morning. Yeah. Yep, you done messed it up. Hold on, I need to watch a a, a Vincent eyeball video real quick yeah. to get this correct. Good enough for government work. I want to do like three more layers on those horns, but I think we're good for now. Yeah, I think I think it's perfect. I mean, that area needs to just be. Oops. You do go. like graffiti on the back of it that just says "I love, I hurt mom." Dragons love their mothers yeah. too. How to train your mother's dragon? No. There's we can go all over with this. Yeah. No. Waiting for Bryce to say good night, everybody. Good night now. Oh my god. I don't know what I did with my glue. Which oh, one? Oh, it's right there. Black cap. I was about to say it's in the dining room, and then yeah. I remembered nope. it is not. All right. Yeah. This, is how, this yeah. is how this model will end. We glue it together, and then you can't. Yeah. Well, I can still paint, but. Or do a. Bryce said a mom heart tattoo. Put like a, a tattoo on the scales. Yeah. Your mom would be like, why is there a tattoo on this dragon? Like, your buddy Bryce told me to do it. Yeah. There we go. And that's time. Dun, 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 dun. That teal is really bright. Yeah. yeah. It's good, though. I kind of dig super it. super pretty. I wanted, I wanted it, I wanted it to have like a stripe down the sides. Like, I don't like, you know, because everyone does dragons that are just one color or whatever, and they have the, the stomach thing. I'll show you tomorrow. Um, some Dragon Age dragons, which had very interesting patterns. That's cool. That was a good thing. Uh, Jay Slugger said, uh, do you know what is in the airbrush flow improver for Vallejo? We're any, wondering about our alternatives. Isn't it just soap? Alternatives to what? Airbrush uh, for, uh, flow improver. Flow improver. Like, I, th I thought oh. flow improver was just, like, soap because you need to break the surface tension. So here's why I don't use any of those things. Um, they always leave a film inside your airbrush, and they leave a film in the cup that you're mixing. And so I, I reuse my cups all the time. Where do my cups go? So I, I have lots of dirty cups. Um, this paint's not going to come back out, but if I had flow improver or glaze medium or any, any of those things in there, um, they start peeling up in these thin, thin peels up of flow Layers. improver basically um and it clogs my airbrush all the time so it's either i guess i could always use a clean cup but that starts getting crazy so i like dirty cups 
Um, so that's why I don't use those. I just I found that the the isopropyl alcohol water mix works great all the time. It doesn't change the sheen of my so it leaves a film on it, but also leaves a film after you've airbrushed, so it'll get a little bit shiny. And if you don't want that, um, if I want it shiny, I'll put a little bit of satin in it or whatever. But I don't want it to have that to begin with. Now, if if you don't mind that, then go ahead and use that stuff. But I w I don't know exactly what you'd use. Uh, different than a flow improver. Although maybe like um, putting a glaze medium in there thins your paint and glaze medium can give you a really nice look to the airbrushing as well. But again, you're gonna have that, you're gonna have the sheen, you're gonna have that paint peeling off in your cup and stuff. So um, if you don't mind clogging a lot, I mean, I guess that's a that's a way to go. Good deal. Oh yeah. Wrapping it up. Thank you for watching, everybody. YouTubers and all. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to check out Marty's Army, which is pretty freaking amazing. It's won, like, every show it's been to this year. Where can they find it? Um, Instagram, <laughs> The Wandering Prince. Instagram, The Wandering Prince. I oh. look at his stuff all the time, and I like it. Thank you. Because Thank otherwise he'll, as a guest. he'll cancel me as a coach. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's actually aw freaking awesome. It's it's amazing. Um, and this is great work, getting the opportunity to see it in person and uh, uh, have more opportunities to learn tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Tomorrow's going to be fun. Um, yeah, that's it. We're done. You I'm should tired. also rep your own channel because, I mean... That's right. Um, I have... Different channels. No, you we can have... find Aaron's stuff. Um, his Instagram is Art of Lovejoy. Art of Lovejoy. His Facebook page is also Art of Lovejoy. Um, yeah, and we then have a Patreon we called Miniature Monthly. Yeah, yeah. MiniatureMonthly.com. Site is MiniatureMonthly.com. I'm just doing it faster. I know you're Sorry. just throwing <laughs> words up. <laughs> just throwing out links. I mean, we put links all up in the the comments too. That's so. right. And we have a Christmas tree in our office. And stockings. We do have stockings on the wall. Good times. But yeah. <laughs> okay, Goober Town, have fun watching Elf. Yeah, thanks for I'm stopping by. It was good seeing no. you. Elf time. No, Elf time is in, like, my stuff. Like, watching, looking in my social media um, is Elf time. Well, you yeah. should still go watch Elf because it's good. Elf is a good movie, too. It's Elf. Yeah. So, but yeah. All right, see y'all later. Thanks again for watching. We'll see y'all again next month. Bye. Have a good night.